High Spirits running Lunar Dragon Song. We're going to kick it over to him right now. Take it away, High Spirits. Thank you. Thank you very much, Palmer. I am High Spirits, and I will be running a lunar game for you. Yes, a lunar game that was created. And uh, I guess we should start off this run by me truly deeply to bottom my heart. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, he's not. And I'd like to introduce my couch. We got Wells JC over here and uh, the RPG chick. This is all my fault. So you, everything you see is her fault. So I guess we're going to go ahead and get this started. So uh, if they are ready over there. Okay, we will do this in three, two, one, start. Welcome to Final Fantasy X. <laughs> <laughs> Don't clap, this is Dragon Song. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> so Dragon Song is such a great game that it starts off with about a 90 second cutscene introducing the story. But I thought there was a better story that I could give you all. I decided to pull out a, few re a couple of reviews about this game that you might enjoy. So let's just get into this. What do you say? The f first good one I found was from Game Informer that described this game as a, unquote, unfun and almost unplayable nightmare of gameplay design mishaps, unquote. With the magazine later raking this game eighth in its list of top 10 worst games of 2005 year-end review. That's quality right there. And, uh, oh, and a personal favorite to my channel, Eurogamer. Everyone loves this one. Describe that, quote, Lunar Dragon Song could, should, and would have been the DS's first great JRPG, especially consider considering its lineage. But rather, what we have here is a wasted opportunity, one that turns your anger to frustration and then to plain, empty sadness. <laughs> Unquote. Calling the game's battle system, quote, comfortably the worst in 20 years of RPGs. <laughs> thank, thank you, Lunar Boot. <laughs> so now that we have that, uh, all, now you guys know what you're expecting, let's meet the protagonist, G.N. Campbell, and the person that he loves, Lucia Collins. Yes, the game just comes out and tells you right away, hey, I love her. Um, not much of a story, because there's not much of a story to this game. But G.N. likes to describe himself as, well, a, well, he's basically a package delivery boy. That's our hero. He delivers packages. And he describes himself as someone who loves standing on his head. Don't you like standing on your head? Yeah. I, I think it's fun. <laughs> okay, so let's get right into the mechanics of this game. The first thing you're going to notice is, well, this is walking speed, and this is dashing speed. <laughs> One thing you want to pay attention to is to the bottom screen as I am dashing. Because you're going to notice, let's see, 27, 26, 25, yeah. Uh, in case you didn't notice, uh, Lunar Dragon Song, you lose your health when you are dashing. So if you want to go fast, you're going to pay for it. <laughs> Apparently, all of those acrobatics that he does is just not enough to keep him healthy <laughs> as he's as he's uh, pummeling, uh, you know, running through the streets like that rapscallion that he is. <laughs> so we start off with a couple of early triggers, and we're gonna get a new pair of sneakers because being someone who loves to stand on his head, head and do acrobatics, his main weapon is kicking people. <laughs> just I know. like me. No, you like the hit. That's different. Oh. <laughs> and then we get introduced to Lucia. No relation to the other Lucia in the Lunar series. You see, this game technically takes place in the Lunar um, timeline. <laughs> it's, uh, it takes place a thousand years uh, before Lunar 1. Um, and uh, there's some interesting things about uh, the story, which we'll get into, about why things happen like they do. And we'll get into that very early. But uh, we meet up with Lucia, and she's angry because the package is not going to deliver itself. And we're being package delivery people. We need to, uh, we need to go deliver packages. And, uh, yeah, I have to heal right there because uh, I lost a bunch of health running. <laughs> 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 so you're watching this game right now, and you're probably wondering, hey, this looks like a pretty decent game. I mean, it looks like someone actually spent time working on it. But uh, let's, let's get into the Thieves' Woods here because, you know, obviously if you're going to deliver packages, the first thing you want to do is go into a place called the Thieves' Woods because you're totally not going to cross a bridge and get ambushed by four Sasquatch that steal your package. Hmm. They're not very good delivery people, aren't they? <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> So we need to go chase down our package, but it's going to require some story triggers in order to do that. But before we do that, we got to start grinding. 
because we need to do a couple of grinds. First, we need to grind our level. And, um, well, welcome to uh, combat in, you know, comfortably the worst uh, combat in 20 years of RPGs. Uh, this is Jiang. He does triple attacks and uh, beats everything up. And then you get to see Lucia, who uh, does two damage with an umbrella. Oh, she actually did two this time. Yeah, impressive. Um, yes, this game, you, we, we got to talk about combat here, okay? There's a lot to talk about. Uh, first off, um, you cannot target in combat. Uh, your, your AI is really dumb, too. They usually attack the weakest or lowest hit point peep, um, and it's frustrating. You're also going to notice I get something called Althena's Conduct. What is Althena's Conduct? That is called experience. Uh, <laughs> as the story actually goes in this game, um, the goddess Althena, who created the beast men, the strong beast men, and the, and the, uh, the smart humans, uh, hasn't actually created experience yet. So, in order to get stronger, you get Althena's conduct, which I guess is like praying um, to the goddess. And, uh, yeah, that's, there's actually a story reason to why experience does not exist in the world yet. I don't know why they went that far to explain that, but they did. Um, so yeah, we're getting we're we're getting some experience because we need to work our way up to level six. Now there is a good and a bad thing to getting to level six because enemies in this game scale with Jiang's level. Um, so yeah, over leveling is always a great thing, isn't it? Always a great mechanic. But um, there's also kind of like the good thing about that though is there's there's break points. Like, in order to fight the first bosses, we have to reach level 6 to safely beat them because we outscale them better, even though they scale with us. And at level 5, it's really risky, and, uh, and, and it's just not ver a very marathon-safe uh, attempt. So we're just gonna, we're gonna be grinding here up to level 6 while we're hitting a couple story triggers. But I guess you, sh you probably noticed something else going on at the end of these fights. If I can get back here! You'll notice something going on in these uh, fights, too. I probably should be healing, but... Um, I'm not getting any items um, from any of these monsters. You see, in Lunar Dragon Song, you, you get to choose your own destiny. You, before you fight, get to choose if you want experience or items when you fight the encounter. I know, isn't this game generous? Yeah, that's the word I would choose, <laughs> totally. So, yeah, you, uh, we have to basically do two separate grinds. We need to grind to level six, and then we need to do an item grind, which is one of the biggest random points of this run, and uh, where the biggest time saves or lost w loss will be. But um, as, as, we, uh, as we gain the levels, we actually gain levels faster because uh, not only do enemies' uh, stats scale off of Jean, their experience gains um, scale off of him too. So we're going to get more and more experience every level. Uh, and, you know, it, it ends up ramping up to the point where we start getting 100 to 150 per an encounter. So we're going to take a moment here to talk to these two right here to find out that the Sasquatch not only wanted my package so badly that they decided to cause an avalanche and block the path to the temple that they ran off to. And uh, they're very, very entrepreneurial apes. I don't know. That's the best I can come up with. <laughs> Seems fine. I think Sounds good. reasonable. <laughs> oh yeah, so there's actually a lot more to the combat. And we're going to get into that. Um, right now, we're just uh, trying to get what experience we can. And I'm pretty much only doing auto attack because this combo, this uh, this combat is so um, intuitive and amazing and in-depth that I literally have no magic uh, spells. I have um, no abilities. All I can do is kick and beat things with an umbrella right now. I know it's that's that's really you know that's that's impressive, isn't it? Uh, Lucia is a healer. Uh, she can heal and buff. The problem is uh, heal spells in this game are expensive. I'm level four with 26 magic, and my heal spell costs 10. Yeah, she gets two healing spells even at level four because healing is way overpriced. <laughs> So we're gonna we're, what we're doing is we're heading to the next zone or to the next town, the town that we were supposed to deliver the package to, and uh, I want to try to hit level five before I get there. That's usually a good benchmark, and then we're gonna do the tr what we need to do in town there, and then we're gonna just come back and uh, grind the rest of our experience, 
and then we will get into the uh, the next set of mechanics in this game. So this game, um, the reason why it's 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 trash, uh, it's it's dumb, as Brosentia would say, is you've already heard me explain a, a bunch of really bad ideas. I'm just I've just scratched the surface with how many real bad ideas that they decided to put into this game. They this game was not made by Studio Alex, the, the company that created Lunar 1 and 2. You might know those games from past RPG Limit Breaks, like RPG Limit Break 2015 and 2018. And, uh, self-promotion. Uh, and, um, they made a couple, they made another uh, spin-off game uh, for the Game Gear, but this was made by Japan Art Media and localized by Ubisoft. Uh, Studio Alex wanted nothing to do with this game. They saw that it was a train wreck and a disaster, and uh, as uh, turns your frustration into plain empty sadness, as uh, one of the reviews like to say. <laughs> I, I mean, it, it always makes me very sad to see this game. <laughs> I think it's great. <laughs> He's never played the game before, by the way. I have. <laughs> you see, this was supposed to be the Lunar game. Like, finally, Lunar fans got another game. And we got one, all right. Uh, yeah, yeah. We got this. <laughs> and it's brilliant. In some way, I should say. But yeah, so combat right now, especially early in the game, is really boring. It comes down to me holding the R1 button. Because the one thing... <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Fulogen. We hear you over there. Like a stiff wind in the breeze. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to come over here and pick up a lucky ring. It's not very lucky, but it sells for money. I like that you looked back here first. <laughs> <laughs> I had a feeling. I had a feeling Vulgin was over there doing something, okay? <laughs> but, yeah, the, um, the lucky ring I picked up sells for a good chunk of money. Uh, money in this game, they're expe they expect you to do package deliveries to get money in this game. <laughs> Uh, there's a few accessories that you can sell for a lot of money, um, but once you get a, like an hour and a half into the game, you can no longer sell any more accessories for money. Your, pure, your money comes purely from selling excess gear or doing deliveries. I mean, what kind of courier would you be if you didn't deliver packages? Yeah, Speedrunner. When, when, when this run first, uh, first started going, uh, I think we spent how many hours doing package delivery? Like an delivery? hour. Like an hour. Was it that short? It doesn't. It didn't it feel doesn't like feel that like short. It. Yeah. <laughs> so you'll notice my uh, my party is sweating right now. That's because the dashing. Well, see, this game doesn't want you to kill itself yourself by uh, by dashing. So what they do is once you someone in your party drops to thirty percent health, you're no longer allowed to dash. They they don't they don't let you just like run yourself to into the grave. So I have to watch my health and uh, I have to go in and heal when I get below because uh, dashing is so much faster and uh, I gotta have health when I go into some of these fights. <laughs> and uh, it kind of is not cool because the menus have like the worst menu lag I've ever seen in a video game. <laughs> I could show you how fast I'm mashed through the menus, and there's there's about a, a quarter to a half second delay on every input. <laughs> At least with the battles, you only have to hold down the R button. Yeah. So we took a lot of damage. A lot more than I normally do. And we're still a little ways away from the town, so I'm going to heal. By the way, I'm going as fast as I can in the menu right now. <laughs> uh, mash, mash. There we go. Uh, that's how bad it is. Uh, you just saw me take forever to get through the menu. So we're going to head to Parit here, which is where we were supposed to deliver the package. And we're going to talk to a couple of people. Um, one is going to tell me about the Thieves' Woods. Hey, can you believe it? But there's actually robberies go that, that have been going on in the Thieves' Woods lately. Did anyone ever tell you that? No, that name is not appropriate at all. It's not the Thieves' Woods. No. Nothing has ever been stolen there. No, not until recently, at least. Hey, I thought he just had a package stolen there. <laughs> Something like that. It took four Sasquatch to get it, too. <laughs> I defended that with my life. And, okay, and this guy, uh, this guy tells me about Delric Temple, which is where the Sasquatch ran off to. And, uh, hey, conveniently, the moment we talk to him, the, ro the rock slide is gone. <laughs> I don't know, what good timing. And uh, he basically gives me the hint on how to get through the temple. There's uh, some loose 
puzzles. I mean, this game attempts to do puzzles, but it fails miserably. Just like it fails miserably in every other aspect. <laughs> I still have no regrets giving you this part. <laughs> yeah, well, you're sitting on the couch watching it now. That's your regret. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to head back to the Thieves' Woods. And I'm actually going to reset this. Why? Because... Uh, when you enter a zone, you have between five and seven enemies that can spawn. And you can tell that by the boxes in the bottom screen. Um, it's random. And you can reset it by leaving the zone entirely. Uh, not just leaving the room you're in, but the entire zone. Because uh, the rooms you are in are set when you enter the zone, basically. Which is going to determine uh, whether I gain some extra levels or lose time later in the game. When I have to, to farm certain areas. And uh, I can't really reset the encounter in there. Yeah, plus the the, uh, the blue treasure chest can only be op opened once uh, once all of the boxes have been checked off, all the monsters have been cleared from the area. Oh yeah, we got this whole blue chest gimmick that we that we can talk about too. Um, basically, every zone. So <laughs> let's go. Let's let's you know we we got some time to kill here. We're gonna be grinding for a little bit. Uh, let's talk about the co what they call combat mode, which is item collection mode, and virtue mode, which is experience mode. Because uh, you got to be virtuous to pray for the conduct, I guess. Um, when you are in uh, ex item mode, enemies will respawn. So you can kill them over and over again. But when you are in experience mode, there is whatever enemies are in the zone, that's how many are there. And currently, we are, uh, we are at six enemies. But you'll notice in the bottom screen, there's a couple of check marks. That's what I have killed so far. And... You know, there's a stopwatch above the check marks, because this game decided that they just wanted to make things as complex as possible. So um, every zone has a blue chest, every room, and if you clear every enemy in the room, you unlock that blue chest. And we'll do that a few times in the run for some actually really good gear and stuff. But um, that timer basically is a timer. Anytime you kill an enemy, that timer starts ticking. If you don't kill the next enemy by the time the timer hits zero, you have to do the whole room over again. By the way, we're one fight away from a level, so yay! Yeah, plus some of the monsters uh, in some of the larger zones later on like to hide, uh, mm -hmm. and it becomes a monumental pain to get to them sometimes. Oh yeah. So this is going to be the last experience encounter that we're going to do for a while, and then we're going to introduce more mechanics to this game. So the problem with Lunar Dragon Song is they tried to reinvent the wheel, and uh, whatever the the semi-interesting mechanics that they actually did come up with, they botched completely and uh, are is a is a complete disaster. I mean, there are some decent ideas, but they're just terribly implemented, and that's what makes this game. Ugh. The reinvented wheel was a square. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> this is going to be... Well, we didn't even kill because... Jiang, by the way, has the worst uh, accuracy that you will ever see. Um, he gets three attacks, which is great. But how often he hits those three attacks is not very high. And uh, it's very frustrating, and you just kind of got to deal with it. <laughs> And it's only going to get more frustrating. Oh, yeah. So there's level six. So now, oops. I fat fingered that. So we're going to heal up because now we're going to go to item collection mode. Welcome to the big random part of this game. So we need to kill these enemies. These enemies have a approximately 25% chance. I don't know the exact numbers, but from what I've tested, it's about 25% chance of dropping their card. Um, it's kind of a unique, it's kind of a cool idea for a gimmick, but again, they botch it. Um, and the two monsters, I need six cards I need to collect. Uh, one was that ice mongrel, that white furry guy, and that Beelzebub is another one. So we're going to see if we get any cards to start. We didn't. Um, the cards are kind of important in beating the game. Um, each card has a use, it has an effect. Uh, we need the two flying jerk birds up there. Even though that's a bee, but it has wings. It counts. Therefore, it totally counts. Yeah. If it has wings, therefore it's a bird. And therefore, if it's a bird, it's a jerk bird. That's the logic. And, uh, yeah. So we need to, we need to collect six cards. We need one right now. We need the insector, the bee. That, that's required in order to get past the first boss. Uh, the other ones, we just got to get as we're going along. And uh, we're going to try to get what we can. 
So we're gonna see what we get here. We got nothing again. <laughs> Off to a good start. <laughs> so yeah, the Insector, the one that we're really looking for now, um, doubles your intact power of your party when you use it in combat. And uh, it's very important because Gian is our only damage dealer and that allows us obviously to get through these bosses at a much lower level. Uh, there's two in this fight we need. We need the Gloomwing, which is flying. That guy restores MP um, to your party, one MP every second for 30 seconds. So it's, it re allows me to refill my MP while I'm running around, either grinding or picking up other stuff. And the little shroom guy over there, that one's very important. And again, nothing. <laughs> uh, that guy is called Shrieker, and he poisons. Uh, when you use that card to poison, it is guaranteed to hit. Um, it works on every boss, and it ticks for 5% of their maximum health every level, or every turn. Um, and in some cases, it does over 50% of the damage in the fight. It's, yeah, it's poison very in powerful. this game is super OP, and it's oh, yeah. really nice. Okay, that Beelzebub, that fly on the left there, that guy gives me 100% attack rates. <laughs> With Jiang's accuracy, that's kind of a very nice thing to have. Although it's not 100% required. But that Hellbird, that last bird right there, did we get it? Hellbird, there we go. Nice. We don't care about Blob, by the way. Uh, Hellbird, though, recovers all of my magic. And I can use it in, in and out of combat. So it's very helpful. Uh, the Ice Mongrel there is more of a marathon safety thing, but it guarantees uh, my ability to escape combat. And uh, when we get to later in the game, um, it starts to become more and more impossible to run from enemies. So for the most part, that card is going to be used much later in the game. Uh, before then, we got to uh, we got to run away from the game the old-fashioned way, so which I don't really want to spoil yet, you know? Yeah, but we also have to contend with High Spirit's run luck. Yeah. And my, my uh, card luck right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I noticed. <laughs> so, Hellbird, we got one to start. This like this is where things could take a while, so you know I'll let Palmer go for a little bit here if he wants. Absolutely, absolutely. We have a forty dollar donation from OMG a moose that's sending high spirits his energy. Thank you. We have another fifty dollar donation from Cult that says I'm sending high spirits my energy. Let's <laughs> charge up this spirit bomb. Why is everyone sending me their energy? <laughs> Seems like you're gonna need your energy, my friend. <laughs> I got a $10 donation from Neon Gray, and it says this donation is devoted to my childhood memories of the Lunar series, which are now curled up in the corner crying. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Lunar. Just like the card lock, it's in the corner crying right now. <laughs> I got a $10 donation from Don Veneur that says, Wee! Wee! Sorry. Wee! There we go. And that was better. I got a $5 <laughs> anonymous donation that says, High Spirits and Palmer, how much for another Nino Cooney 100%? 100,000. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> Get us to 100,000 100, by the end of this run, and we will do it again, <laughs> just like last song. year. Okay. <laughs> That's only 36,000. <laughs> so. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we haven't gotten to actually how badly made this game, or how badly, like, lazily this game was made. So I just got Beelzebuzz. That's two cards down. So let's let's take that Shrieker right there, that, that little poison guy. That's actually one of about seven Shriekers in the game. Um, they all are, they all drop a Shrieker card. Basically, there's about 20-ish, a little over 20 different monsters in the game. And they're in the game between five and seven more times each. And they're all just reskins with different abilities. That's how lazy they were. So we'll see Beelzebuzz in lots of areas. A reskin in an RPG? That's never happened before. Yeah, but when their their monster list, including bosses, is like under 30. For like a full length RPG. Uh, um, yeah. Also, the blobs drop whiskers for some reason. I don't know what like cat they ate. <laughs> but, yeah. Oop, Insector. So the Insector card is the one we're really looking for. If we get that, we will start advancing the story and fight along the way to get the last three cards. But yeah, that is the important one. Okay. Uh, status effects. Yeah, that's one thing we can talk about later. Nope. Okay, so we're not off to the best card log right Why now. Why does a bee have clay oil? I would also like to know the answer to that question. I don't know. 
<laughs> You're trying to... Wow, look at all four monsters over here. Dang. <laughs> you're, you're asking a lot of questions. I, I know. I know. I'm sorry. When they made this game, they didn't ask that many questions. <laughs> Apparently. This game does have four quality of testers. Can you believe that? Four Q&A for, uh, for this magnificent game. No, that's not possible. <laughs> <laughs> they were given a different game to play. <laughs> <laughs> they were playing the actual good Lunar games. Oh, didn't even kill the Insector. So we are at right now, Hellbird and Beelzebuzz. Got to keep, uh, keep uh, remember which ones. And we got Shrieker and Insector, oh, nice. a double. Nice. But since there's three monsters here, I'm just going to keep fighting. Oh, wait. Uh-oh. You guys ready to find out how you run away in combat? Because this is brilliant. We don't need this fight. Watch or listen. <laughs> By holding L and R, right? <laughs> yes. In case you didn't catch that, I rose, the, brought the DS up to my uh, up to my mouth and blew into the microphone. So Lunar Dragon Song decided that they wanted to use the entire DS. And they decided that in order to escape, um, you have to blow into your microphone. Um. <laughs> you know, with your run luck in other games, you might try that there too. <laughs> I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die if I have to do that. <laughs> but I'm sure you'll get more of a chances to see me uh, escape as I try to get these last two cards. Up oh, here we go. Oh, I ran out of health. Ah, I hit the part. I fat fingered the party chat. No. Text is so slow in this game. Everything is slow in this game. Even when you dash, you're slow. So I'm just going to farm these these two real quick since they're right here. Oh. It's not a guaranteed to run, by the way. I'm just actually getting some decent luck with the run, at least. But we still need Gloomwing and uh, Ice Mongrel. Oh, there's two gloom wings. We get double chance to get something. Double the chance to get nothing. That too. <laughs> you got anything else over there, Palmer? Go get it. I do. I have a $25 donation from Marikaze that says, Heard Palmer on the mic and high spirits in this, well, never before seen rare game on screen. Just decided it was time to toss in a donation. Hope for a great run from High Spirits and can't wait for some great runs over the next few days. Keep that coffee dispenser close. <laughs> Thank you. I got another $5 donation from LLK that says, Would this run be considered tool assisted if you ran a leaf blower the whole time? <laughs> you know, we considered other things to use, but the problem, there's Gloomwing by the way, so one card. So we considered uh, other things. Um, we, ca we came up with some like brilliant ideas like um, screaming random words into the microphone. Um, sorry, I had to pause. Uh, <laughs> um, just like using power tools and whatever. But believe it or not, it's actually the microphone is very picky. Um, it doesn't just pick up anything. You have to actually blow with just the right amount of breath, with the right amount of uh, huff and puff. Other, uh, other, in order for it to pick it up. Otherwise, there's times where you're going to see me uh, uh, give it a few tries because it just didn't pick up my uh, my breath. Um, the mic, I guess, isn't that great on a 3DS. Yeah, I really wish I could say he was lying, but he's not. <laughs> yeah, I mean, some words work. I tested some, but I thought that I, I couldn't really come up with any good, relevant words. Like, this game is terrible, just didn't pick up. Uh, this game is dumb. That didn't work either. <laughs> The only thing that worked was Lunar. <laughs> I even tried things like run and hurry up and get your butt moving and things like that. And it's just so picky on what it wants. <laughs> but we're going to start progressing the story a little bit. But we're going to keep fighting what we see because we want to try to get this Ice Mongrel to finish our card collection. Assuming that they appear. So if you got anything else, keep going, Palma. I have a $2 donation from Red Silvers that says, this is certainly a game with the word Lunar in the title, all right? <laughs> this is the best Lunar game ever released on the Nintendo DS. I can't help but think the menu font looks like a lot like the font in RPG Maker 2000. <laughs> Could totally explain a lot of the decisions I'm seeing here. Uh, wait till you see some of the big bosses. 
Special shout out to all the late night staff at RPGLB for keeping the party going. Thank, thank, you, thank you, you so much. And I just wanted to remind you guys real quick that uh, you might have noticed the incentives and prizes. You can make runs harder for some of the runners that are coming up. You can also choose to name characters, save them from dying, all kinds of different things. Uh, so make sure you check out the incentives, the challenges, and the awesome prizes. And uh, make sure you use the time that you have now to get those donations in to fulfill some of those upcoming incentives while you have the chance. Awesome. Welcome to Delrick Temple. This is the home of four Sasquatch that stole a package. Um, I don't know what else the temple's used for. I guess it was used for worshipping at some point. I don't know. But, nope. uh, <laughs> <laughs> Wells has visited there a few times. Yeah, just, such, just Sasquatches. <laughs> So uh, we're going to start going through these, and now we got to start paying attention to enemies. So the enemies, like that one right there, you'll notice just ran away from me. Um, enemies basically have three patterns. They either follow you, like this, these two. Oh, get off the rock. Um, <laughs> sometimes the hitboxes in this game are bad. Sometimes they'll follow you. Sometimes they will follow a set pattern, and sometimes they will just run. Um, the important thing is trying to recognize what they are doing so I can figure out if I can and how I can dodge some of these. Because uh, they're obviously not going to be very nice with some of these dungeons. Like, very thin corridors with uh, enemies chasing you from each side. And, of course, enemies standing outside the door uh, <laughs> chasing you the moment you come out the door. Yeah, but basically in any attempt to link this to any good Lunar game, uh, you're activating stones, which happen to be uh, certain particular colors you might recognize if you've played some of the other Lunar mm. games. Yes, the, uh, this game does at least heavily in, or is influenced by the four dragons. And uh, this game tries to pound it into your head, the order of dragons. Like, we just did red, white, black, blue. This will not be the only time that they try to, to, to remind us of this order. Because that's very important later in the game. Why? Because you're supposed to, to, to meet the dragons in a certain order. And the game kind of forces you to go in the correct order. So all of that just meant absolutely nothing. Basically. <laughs> okay, so our first Sasquatch. We're going to save because uh, we need to fight four Sasquatch, and they each come with friends. And the first friends that this one comes with uh, are Shriekers that can confuse. So we didn't really talk about confusion uh, or status effects, period. But um, Gene's your only damage dealer. Uh, <laughs> so if anything happens to him, you're in trouble. So don't confuse. Okay, I didn't get confused. Um... So things like confusion makes it so he only attacks 50% or only does whatever command you uh, put in 50% of the time. So yeah, he can literally just stand around and do nothing for several turns. Um, there's other status effects like petrify, sleep, um, mute, which doesn't do anything. But those are the big ones. Uh, and all status effects are random or stay on you randomly, nice misses, uh, between two and five turns. So yes, even Petrify just wears off. <laughs> good, good stuff. Just like real life. Just like real life. So in order to kill a Sasquatch, I need to hit it six times with GN. So uh, yeah, he missed a few times, so this should finish him off though. And there's the first Sasquatch. <laughs> You're gonna have to do that three more times. I hope you realize. <laughs> But yeah, the Sasquatch look, look exactly like Yetis, you know, the green guys in the forest <laughs> that we've already run into several times because reskins, uh, even on the bosses. <laughs> Trust me, yeah. there's some major villains that are just reskins. Yep. They really did not put any effort into anything. So I am trying to heal up. So that was the most dangerous fight by far because of the confusion. There's a couple fights now that can do blind, which... GN can't hit anything anyway, so blind is just brilliant. And, uh, yeah, so for the most part, as long as I'm healing, uh, there's nothing else to really worry about in these fights. Uh, I'm just going in using Insector card, which doubles my attack power, and let Jiang just finish him off eventually. Combat is so thrilling in, in Dragon Song. But, okay, so I guess we can expand upon it. There is actually attack magic in this game. Um, there's four spells that you can get, and Jian is the only one who can use them. 
So yeah, they give only attack magic in the game to your only damage dealer in the game. <laughs> there's not much I can say about that. But yeah, I was going to say there's nothing to really add to that. Because it's true. Like, like, why do you give attack magic to the only person in the game who can actually, like, deal damage? Because I mean, it's a they... high quality game. <laughs> no, we've already established that it's not a high quality. Oops, I need to heal more. I mean, there, there are characters that have some kind of attack magic, but it's, it's, not yeah. ne it's not anywhere near as powerful as what GN gets. Yeah, they get AoE abilities. Yeah. Like, we'll get one party member that does an AoE ability and one that stays in our party for one fight, and we get emotionally attached to him, and he does one, uh, one uh, AoE ability, too, and then... What do we tell you about getting emotionally attached to characters in, in Dragon's Den? Uh, you should not get emotionally attached to anything in this exactly. game. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so we get to meet many yetis. We get to see uh, them and their recolored uh, re uh, buddy all in the same fight. It's the yetis and their t-shirts. <laughs> yes, I heard that the yeti has t-shirts, don't they? Some very awesome ones, in fact. They do, in fact. You are correct. RPGLB is proud to once again partner with the yeti to bring you eight amazing t-shirts and a hoodie. Now available plus pins. Head over to theyeti.com forward slash RPGLB. Take a look at the designs, pick up the ones you want, and know that $4 from every t-shirt purchased will be donated to NAMI. Remember that Yeti is spelled Y-E-T-E-E. -E -E. Theyeti.com forward slash RPGLB. So you'll notice I picked up a Sasquatch card. And you're going to ask yourself, what does the Sasquatch card do? It does nothing. Yep, absolutely <laughs> nothing. So all of the characters and bosses also have their own cards, but they have nothing you can do with them. Yeah. It does have a use. It's for 100% that you're going to do later <laughs> on. We're not going to talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> so what those cards are, they're collectible cards, they're known as. Uh, the collectible cards, basically, they um, uh, you use them for online Coliseum battles. Yes, this game does not have much, but you can actually do online Coliseum battles with other people. And uh, you can believe me when I say uh, a week ago I sat online for 30 minutes and didn't get a single fight. You mean all five people that own this game weren't online? <laughs> None of them were, believe it or not. <laughs> uh, you'll notice GA encountered there. Um, Jiang has an accessory on right now that's called Counter Prototype. Uh, there's actually multiple. They, there's Counter Prototype, then Type 1, Type 2, Type 3. Yeah, because yeah, it's super origi original. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and each one basically increases the percentage chance that he has to counter attack um, an attack. We want to see that when they are equipped because when he counters an attack, he takes no damage and he, dam and he deals damage to the enemy. So uh, it's, a, it's an awesome thing to see. And that is the last Sasquatch. <laughs> And we got an expensive plate. So I didn't talk about some of these other items, like the iridescent rock and the, uh, the expensive plate. Those sell for almost nothing, like eh, a couple silver, maybe. Uh, the plate might actually sell for like 10. But um, their main purpose is package delivery. Yeah, they're, they're, they're basically the equivalent of item drops you get in some MMOs. It, it, they're completely worth worthless. <laughs> I mean, if you want to deliver packages, you can find a use for it. Uh, yeah, some, some of those package combinations are very oh. questionable as well. Chase, this one. <laughs> oh, I need to recover my magic. Ben, I need to heal up a little bit too because I was about to lose my dash. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so if you package deliveries, that's great. Oh, by the way, we never got the package because for some reason we beat the Sasquatch and the package appeared all the way at the front of the temple. I don't know why, but... We're glad we're not going to get fired now, right? Why? Because Dragon Soul. Because it's Lunar Dragon. <laughs> so, most people who see this game, their first response is, why? That's all. They just say, why? You don't have to add anything else to it. Just, why? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I wanted to let you know that chat is actually still reeling over the blowing mechanic. <laughs> well, just for the chat, I blew again into the microphone. You can't say I'm not a man of the people. <laughs> So we're still looking for an Ice Mongrel card, so uh, we need that little furry white thing down there. Which, believe it or not, in the actual Lunar games, 
um, gives you an, an insane amount of experience whenever you fight them. <laughs> now they're in the first dungeon and they just give you their tail. <laughs> it's a nice tail. He's got a couple of them. I'm sure yeah, you can spare but it. it is at least a, a usable card. <laughs> yeah, it allows me to get us away from combat without having to blow into my microphone. <laughs> Come on, Ice Mongrel. Ice Mongrel. Ah, just his tail. I got enough tails. I want the whole body. <laughs> I want the whole set. <laughs> okay, we get another shot here. <laughs> oh, by the way, I didn't show you. Um, you notice how every all the animations are going really fast? This is normal animation speed. The one thing that decent that this game does is it gives you a fast forward button. Look at that. Oh, she lined up that shot. <laughs> and then you get the fast forward. So it's basically this run for the start is holding down R1 so I can kick things faster. It's probably the only decent idea they put into the game. Allow you to finish the game faster. <laughs> Come on, Ice Mongrel. No, oh, another tail. All the tails. All of the tails. <laughs> I'm gonna get in trouble with like an organization soon if I keep collecting ice mongrel tails. <laughs> so we need to head back to Parit Village before so we can figure out where to go next. What we're supposed to do is go to the next town, um, but the bridge is down and believe it or not, you know, timing, the moment we talk to someone in the next village, the bridge is fixed. It's like magic. High quality workers there. They're so we don't even see them when we pass by the bridge. I know. They just, they packed up and left. They were on break at that time. Oh, we actually failed to run. Oh, here's a counter. Poor, poor bug. <laughs> just, just got splatted on the windshield. Oh, wow. This yeah. is the HS run luck. That yeah, I yeah. 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 <laughs> Come on. There we go. There's an example of uh, sometimes you just didn't get it. But yeah, I don't need any of these. I can't, it's not like they drop any items and they don't give me any experience. So there's no point in me fighting them. The only thing I want is the Ice Mongrel. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Get back here. Stop buzzing around. Come on. I got enough tails. Look at the eyes blink in that thing. It's really creepy. I mean, you can't even say the sprites in this game are that good. The only the only thing that we say in this game that's actually halfway decent is some of the music. Not the regular battle music. This music is terrible. But, like, once we get past the regular battle music, the game starts to get better. Like, the boss themes are yeah. really good. Yeah. Okay. I mean, there had to be something redeeming. Yeah. No, there oh. Oh. So many tails. So few ice mongrels. Pretty soon, Scholar Kitty is going to be able to make some new jewelry for me. Okay, come on. Well, Hi Spirits, I got a challenge for you. I got a $25 donation from Dead Man J that says, We've talked about a few of the bad features in this game. Time for a challenge. I'll donate $5 more per good thing you say about this game. Uh, it ends. <laughs> That's one. There's a power off button. I'm going to count that as the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's raising money. It uh, increases your lung capacity. <laughs> you know, better aerobics. Good, good workout. No? Judge's table? Well, no. it's not up to me. I'm oh. not doing it. So. <laughs> Well, I thought you were doing all the judging. <laughs> oh no, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave that up to the uh, to the donors. But all of you guys watching, you can also influence not this run, but some of the runs coming up. So make sure you take advantage of some of these challenges. Uh, pretty soon we have Taskbot playing Final Fantasy, and you have the opportunity to make it to make Taskbot play Final Fantasy with four white mages. Uh, that donation incentive is actually only about three hundred dollars away. So get those donations in before it's too late. Wait, 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 we did technically say two good things about this game before. The R, R button mechanic to speed up the battles yep. and the boss battle music. And, yeah, see? There's two more. Come on, help me out here. Currently, we're trying it's to get being, the don currently it's being used to raise money for Nami. I know, we're trying to raise money. Come on, creative. 
Oh, we get to deliver our package, by the way, for a whole whopping... Da, 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 283 silver. <laughs> We're racking in the silver. Yes, Lunar Series uses silver for its currency. Uh, it doesn't even use gold. But it's the, it's the silver star. It's not the golden star. I don't see anything here, okay? <laughs> if, you probably ask the st if you probably ask the lore developers, they'll tell you that the silver star hasn't even been created yet, just like experience. <laughs> Goddess is very busy, but she's too busy to not actually make the rest of the world. The people in charge of the lore will deny this game exists. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> you got me there. <laughs> So sometimes you'll see me actually um, just like appear in the next area because there is, you can actually use the uh, bottom screen to touch where you want to go. Um, it's a little bit faster in certain cases. That seems like a nice feature. <laughs> positive. Yeah, that's a positive feature. Faster travel. Faster travel. I can't really say fast travel. Come on, where's our furry guys? Where's our furry buddies? I got a Zagna bar for you. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> That's for the fly. Oh, we, already, I'm sorry. we already have the fly. <laughs> Don't make me laugh when I gotta blow into the microphone. That was too hard. <laughs> Come on, I need an ice box, but I can't blow right now. Please. <laughs> <laughs> I need an ice ball, girlfriend. Thank you. I can breathe. <laughs> now I can laugh. <laughs> okay. Friendly neighborhood ice mongrel. <laughs> I don't have a Zagna bar. The bills above ate it. But <laughs> but please give me your card. I'll be your friend. I'll even use the card. Yeah, this is why this was this this sitting here for this is not a regret because I knew stuff like this was gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> oh. uh, well, we could technically go without it, but we'd have to do a lot more saving because there's a better <laughs> there's a chance that I could really get like demolished later on. So we'll go at it a little bit longer, and then we'll just yeah. Here we go. Counter attack. So. You do something different since I did something different. <laughs> do we have any other positives about this game, by the way? Oh, you wanted us to think about that? Yeah, <laughs> I gave you one job. I literally gave you one job. You got another tail. <laughs> Thanks, Wells. No problem. Well, uh, high spirits, it looks like the verdict is in. Uh, Dead Man J donated twenty-five dollars. We got five. Sweet. He said that's about what I expected. <laughs> <laughs> I did include some of the things because, let's face it, it's a good cause, and there really isn't much good about the game. <laughs> Have fun blowing into the mic, and the money goes to the runner's choice. Give us some white mages. Okay, come on. Oops. <laughs> Turned on my DS by accident, my uh, volume on my DS by accident. I was like, why is there an echo suddenly? <sighs> well, you're, the treat, you, you all are getting a good treat because I'm having such bad luck uh, that you get to watch me be short of breath. <laughs> and hopefully not uh, pant a little, oh, come on. And it looks like everyone in chat is definitely benefiting from your experience. <laughs> <laughs> now I gotta heal. Uh oh. Well, I don't care. They're not gonna kill. Well, actually, they can kill Jane. Uh. There we go. Now we gotta heal. Try asking nicely for them to drop the card. I did. I even said I'd be its friend. Okay. No, ice. I said nicely. Okay, ice mongrel. Okay. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. We need another ice mongrel. Okay. That didn't count. See, I okay. The next ice mongrel. I promise, if you give me your card, I won't play Lunar Dragon Song ever again. <laughs> okay. So this is heal res. 
Um, this is the uh, one of the uh, Beast Men um, strongholds. So the story at the beginning of the game, we kind I kind of brushed it off because <laughs> the game barely has a story. Uh, but um, this is the Beast Men loved are, are really strong and they loved building big towns. Unlike the humans who were like frail but really intelligent and wanted to live in in, in small villages. And uh, we come to this town and for some reason, Gian wants to fight in the Colosseum. Um, they don't actually give us a reason why he wants to fight into it. He just I don't, wants to impress Lucia. I don't know. They don't give a reason. So we kind of have to try to find a way to get into the arena, which means we pretty much have to butter up someone. Or um, sweeten them up, I should say. And uh, we're hitting a bunch of story triggers while we find out that the person we need to butter up wants honey. And we're going to do some shopping. <laughs> Yeah, even the shopkeeps in, in the beast towns insult uh, insult you, essentially. Okay, so we're gonna buy gentleman's coat. Oops. Don't. Menu lag, thank you. Ruby gloves. Mental bandana. So the mental bandana is supposed to lower the, uh, the chances of you getting confused. But there is actually no item in this game that actually gives you perfect immunity to status effects. <laughs> Because why would they make the game that nice? <laughs> so we buy some new sneakers. No arm, by the way, no armor for uh, Lucia, because we don't care. We would like her to not die when we're farming experience, but uh, she's not worth the the time to actually put gear on. <laughs> and we need to pick up some healing drops and some antidotes because. The next forest has a lot of poison enemies. And uh, we might burn through a bunch of these. I got a couple of donations here for you if you got the time, my friend. Sure. I got a $25 anonymous donation that says, Hey, high spirits, don't forget to equip the ring. Wells, did you donate while you were <laughs> on the couch? Oh, and RPG chick, don't forget to equip the sword. Yep, he did. <laughs> <laughs> Money goes to the runner's choice. I have another $5 donation that says, High Spirits, please equip the ring. Okay, Wells, how many times did you donate? <laughs> nope, that one wasn't me. Because <laughs> <laughs> so it would have said for her to equip the sword. Yeah, it, well, I you had to did. be stealthy a little bit. No, no. So we went and talked to this uh, guy's girlfriend, and she said that he really likes honey. <laughs> so we're going to... Uh, we need to do a couple of things. One, we need to uh, get honey from insectors because uh, they haven't uh, honey, but we also need a couple of levels. We need to get to level eight. So hopefully they're gonna be nice and not just focus down Lucia. Uh, we're gonna start this fight with getting experience because um, we also need to collect a card while we're here, a card that allows me to regen HP. Um, so we're gonna be looking for creatures that look kind of like an Ivysaur <laughs> is the best thing I can uh, say. And um, since they actually uh, show up on the map, um, I can specifically target those uh, th that enemy to uh, to be in an encounter. Uh, so you know that's why I started off with experience here first because I wasn't guaranteed that the Namia was going to be in this fight. Uh, and thankfully, the uh, the honey is a fairly easy uh, drop to get. So uh, we'll, we'll we'll get those, but we do need to get to level eight. Uh, while we are doing this and looking for a Namiya card and there's a chance if I get a good encounter I can go for an Ice Mongo because Ice Mongos are in this zone too. I mean look at there's Beelzebub in, in Sector. We totally did not see these enemies just in the last zone. Nope, not at all. The only difference is that in Sector now poisons instead of confuses. Nice crit for one damage. <laughs> She's really <laughs> helping out. <laughs> Wow, did G there just get go, a Jane. triple miss? <laughs> That's what we're looking for in the bosses. Thankfully for a lot of the bosses, we can give myself a 100% hit rate. You know, I, I'd like to say Lucia's the worst, but we're, but, the, but she's not. <laughs> she at least hits. It's one damage, but she hits. Yay, I'm helping. <laughs> Those tree ends have a lot of health, so and they're just sitting there defending. If it doesn't make any movement, it's defending. So if we don't get a nice Mongo card by the time we leave here and whatnot, I might actually just risk it and go without it. But uh, yeah, let's get some experience. 
So there's level 7. Fairly easy to get. We'll take at least a couple more fights, though, to get the next level. Let's see. Well, there is not a Namiya there, so... So we picked up a bunch of... Well, we still have a healing gum, so we might as well use it. Get it out of the inventory, because it's kind of annoying, because it's in the first slot. And, uh, yeah, we'll just fight experience in this encounter, too. Uh... Good thing we did experience, because it's pretty garbage. We get Sonic the Hedgehog down there and four Beelzebubs. He looks a lot better than the movie, doesn't he? <laughs> Do you really want to open up that, that can of <laughs> uh, He's even nodding. Look, he agrees. <laughs> At, at, at least, at least there's some small consolation that they're um, a little, slightly less dangerous in this game than they are in like Eternal Blue or something like that. Yeah, that is true. Sonic will kill you in those ones very easily. Was that a good quality I just heard? What that they'll kill you in other ways? <laughs> or what that he's better than than, than the movie Sonic? <laughs> that counts. <laughs> <laughs> Now you're gonna give me a choke. Sorry about that. No, he don't 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 make him choke, please. <laughs> he needs to keep blowing into the mic. Hopefully not for much longer. <laughs> okay, that's Anamia. We are gonna go into item collection mode, and we're gonna hope that we can get a card from this Namia. And in sectors, okay. There's it. So I got three chances for a Namia card and two chances for Honey. And he's gonna get a nice Mongol tail. <laughs> You're gonna get a nice yes. Mongol tail. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid tails. <laughs> it's fine if Lucia dies here because we don't get any experience for this, and she's not doing any damage. So literally, she's just a target right now. And if she dies, I don't have to cure her poison. So hey, there's a positive right there. <laughs> Wait, does that count? <laughs> I'll allow it. I'll allow it. <laughs> so, come on, Namiya card. Namiya card is regen in combat. And although it's not required, it does add a lot of safety and actually does add a bit of speed. So, like, if you can get it first try, you, you really do save a chunk of time in some fights. So, what if you just throw a Pokeball at him once you get it done? <laughs> Maybe. And we got Namia and Honey. Nice. At least you had luck with something. Yeah, now we just need Ice Mongrel. <laughs> he's still playing the well, game. Do you really <laughs> think he's got luck? <laughs> there are no winners. Okay, so we want to keep... We want to actually... I want to go pick up a chest real quick. So I'm going to probably take another fight for experience. The good old Virtue Mode. So you'll notice there's Shriekers, Gloom Wings, Beelzebuzz. I mean, all just different colors. This game is so lazy. <laughs> Wait till we get to the bosses, okay? There's not a whole lot of unique boss sprites in this game. <laughs> I, I want to say something, but I don't want to spoil the surprise. This game also has the best <laughs> ending ever, by the way. <laughs> If you're here for the ending, I trust you. Trust me, you will feel something. <laughs> is is that a good quality? I can't I can't tell. No, unfortunately, it's not. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> okay, level eight, please. Mm. Level eight, please. Awesome. So we're gonna go grab this alert ring that's just really hidden in the forest. You gotta zigzag your way around. Cool, we got what we want right now, so we're gonna escape. Escape, that's a good thing, right? It's only five magic, that's a positive. I'm trying, I know, I'm trying. Uh, no, I'm just in yeah, my no. head marveling that escape costs less MP than healing does. <laughs> yeah. It's like the game wants you to get out. Well, to be fair, in Lunar 1, it tossed 20 magic to escape. Yeah, but that that's just it. It usually costs more to escape yeah, than know. it does to heal, and, and this game is like, yeah, no. So we, we talked to Leon Cavecchio here, or Leon Cavello, and he, uh, we're trying to talk him into letting, give me his pass to get into the tournament. He's like, you're a human, you can't do that. I'm like, I could beat you up, and he's like, grr, look at that face, he's like, grr, intense. And, uh, and he says, fine then, beat up the boar that's been rampaging in the forest, and you'll prove to me you're strong enough to fight in the tournament. So we're going to go get some bacon. 
Yeah, this is some of the biggest amount of plot in the game. <laughs> yeah. By the way, if I didn't tell you, this story looks like it was written by a high schooler. I mean, you can read it all. It's not like it's going fast. <laughs> 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 Okay, so we got our first, our next, I should say, not first, but our next set of RNG coming up. Uh, we need to actually farm all of the encounters inside the cave uh, where the boar is because we need the blue chest in there. The blue chest is an item that sells for a lot of money, and that is a terrible spot for there to be a Namia. And uh, we need it. So we are hoping for five encounters, not seven, when we enter this cave. And we got five. Nice. Aww. Sorry, Wells. <laughs> so now we want to see good encounters. We want to see like three, four enemies. So, you know, five is all right. Three of them are in sectors, but, you know, we don't need a lot. We should get enough experience to get to level 10 by the time we fight the boar. If not, we will farm one encounter outside to get it. But level 10 is the benchmark we are looking for. Uh, we don't need it for the boar, but we're going to need it for what's after the boar because... <laughs> After the boar is the arena. After the arena is the point in the game where 50% of the people who played this game quit playing this game. I was one of those 50%. <laughs> <laughs> Not joking. Probably half the people who picked this game up and played it quit after the arena. Yeah. And you will see why when we get there. Because if the Lunar Dragon Song wasn't already a good enough game, it found a way to get even better. <laughs> so there's the first encounter. <laughs> all of the XPs. So we are going to run around and try to find these enemies. Uh, you'll, oh, you'll if you listen to the sound effects of this dungeon, they are awesome. Uh, it's a combination of belching and burping. I didn't hear the poison, but oh well. There's no music, it's just belching and burping. Ugh, seven enemies. It's going to be hard to keep Lucia alive here, but... Splat. <laughs> Completely unnecessary crits. <clears throat> no, no, no. I needed that for my ego. <laughs> Ooh, but Lucia is... Uh, I have no way to resurrect, by the way, right now. Uh, resurrection items are expensive. And uh, I don't want to buy them. Because <laughs> I can't afford them right now. <laughs> I mean, it's not really worth it. Also, you notice he attacked the Beelzebub. By far the weakest enemy. That thing is so weak that Lucia could kill it in a couple of turns. But do you think G.A.N. Kills about, cares about that? No. He wants to splat that bug because he's trying to show how much of a man he is to Lucia right now. Yeah, let's go with that. I mean, I told you the AI is dumb. I mean, what have I told you about this game that's not dumb so far? Only those five things we mentioned. <laughs> yeah, but even in part, some of them are dumb, okay? <laughs> This game is a brilliant game. <laughs> I mean, it has such creative mechanics. And we still haven't even finished all of the mechanics, actually. Yeah, some of the ideas weren't bad. It's just the execution. Yeah, that's yeah. that's the thing, is they had some ideas. They just didn't execute them because, you know, they couldn't even make bosses, let alone execute ideas. <laughs> Apparently, they had one artist working on the entire game because they have so much, no, almost no sprites. Level nine. At least Lucia survived. Yeah, I healed her in the middle of it. That helped. <clears throat> it's but now good to. Oh, I'm sorry. No, well, go right ahead. We're just farming yeah, a we're few just more talking. fights. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. <laughs> well, I have a twenty-five dollar donation from Transquina that says, "I'm sorry." <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I got a five dollar donation from Ashy that says, "Break dancing with breaking equipment." What more could you ask for from a lunar game? <laughs> We didn't get to breaking yeah, equipment yet, by the way. <laughs> we'll, yeah, uh, we'll get to that shortly because we're about to come up on a monster that can break my equipment. Yeah, I was literally going to say we haven't seen the best, most infuriating mechanic in my opinion yet. <laughs> so yeah, remember how enemies have random abilities? Like this one are all attacking Lucia. Uh, they can, you know, they randomly have poison this time. Well, guess what? Not only is poison, confusion, mute, you know, things like that all part of the random pool. Uh, also is the ability to break your items when they attack you. Um, random enemies have the ability to just uh, attack you and uh, randomly break one of your items. And if they ever break my sneakers, <laughs> I can't kill anything anymore. <laughs> 
So there are points in the game where I'm going to save specifically because I know I will be encountering those enemies. And, um, yeah, we might have to route gear around whatever survives is <laughs> the best way to put it. <laughs> Sounds like uh, Vulijin has some choice words for this game. <laughs> I can't hear him, but I can just, I can feel it in my, in my soul. <laughs> <laughs> that blowing into the microphone into my ear pretty much just answers my uh, assessment of Vulijin. Are you enjoying the game, Vulijin? Over there in the tech station working hard? Eating Doritos or something? It was a cookie. A oh, cookie? Or ch or, oh, okay. Oh, Cracker. rich crackers. Okay. I got a Nature Valley bar. You want a Nature Valley bar? <laughs> I guess Lucia's going to die again. <laughs> I could try to save her. But, uh, yeah, so. <laughs> the tech staff works very hard. Good misses. <laughs> Both of them, you mean? So yeah, we've gotten a lot of Insector encounters, which is kind of unlucky because they have they do have a lot of health. They hit really hard, and they do poison, which is also mildly irritating. Yeah, this is definitely one of the things at least somewhat consistent to other Lunar games because bees in any Lunar game are absolutely awful <sighs> and terrible. Anything that flies. Like moths, yeah, but like, bees, but wasps, yeah. turtles, birds, all wait, of them. Wait, wait, what? <laughs> Did you just throw turtles in there? No, no, dragon song. Sorry, I'm just gonna use that as an excuse for anything I say that's wrong. Okay, okay. Because Lunar Dragon Song. <laughs> <laughs> no, Lucia! Okay, you can't die to poison, by the way, so. Oh, wow. Good shot, Lucia. Come on, Jiang. Save your girlfriend. Good job. With one health. <laughs> we still got one more fight. <laughs> for a regular encounter. <laughs> <laughs> that is the excitement Lunar Dragon Song brings. You just cheer for the uh, random encounter that Lucia survives. So we're gonna go. We don't. There's a couple ways I can go to try to find this last enemy. We're gonna look down here by the blue chest and hope it's down here and it's not. So we're gonna go away from the blue <clears throat> chest. <laughs> yeah, this is what I was talking about. When you get to the larger areas uh, and you're trying to find that last monster before the time ticks nice. down. Okay, so this, I believe, will be enough to get me to level 10. And, uh, yay! Lucia will survive, because none of these things do a whole lot of damage. Unless Jiang starts missing three times at every attack. Oh, which, now that you've said it. Yeah, I know, he can do it. I have faith in him. We just got some positive reviews about this game from Vulture. <laughs> and, 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 and by positive review, I'm very positive. I mean, and, and by positive review, he says this game is the only game worse than this is Hoshi. <laughs> what was bad about that game? <laughs> Nothing. Yeah. At least that game. Oh wait, this game. At least this game was finished. <laughs> wait. Okay, I can't even say that, actually. <laughs> At least this game had an artist. I don't know. There are credits to this game. Yeah, this game. There are walls. So here's our armored boar. You're actually going to get to hear the boss music. It's actually the first boss music. There's a few, but it, it's all right. It's better than the battle music, that's for sure. Yes, yes it is. So we're just going to insect her up, and this guy can confuse, and that mental bandana I have will probably fail me at some point but it doesn't take long to kill him okay yes it does because he missed twice <laughs> <laughs> never mind uh, and there's confusion and he hit very hard and he missed twice again actually I could die at this rate <laughs> Jiang stop yep, you have three chances to miss don't okay good I was afraid that he was gonna roll high Okay, we're good. We're back to being safe again, for now. Oh, he didn't act. Okay, we can still die. And he didn't act again. 
Hey, remember that there's time only you one, said you were good? There's only one person dealing damage right now, okay? And that's... Aw. Oh, rip, Lucia. Well, so much for that. <laughs> By the way, you don't get experience from bosses in this game. So, yeah. There's the boar. Enjoy. So we're gonna that, put. That doesn't deserve clapping. <laughs> it's a sympathy. <laughs> uh, so we put the uh, counter type one on Jane, um, because it's slightly higher counter attack rates, and well, he doesn't have anything else he can really use right now. And uh, we proved how strong we are. So we're going to go into the tournament with blood-crazed blood opponents hammering each other. I, didn't, I forgot to read the rest of it. I mean, we're all reading the story together, so. So he gives me the pass that allows me to go into the arena. He's totally helping me out. Like, nothing bad will ever happen to you because of this arena. <laughs> By the way, we have to save before we fight the arena because the third enemy can break your items. <laughs> <laughs> if he breaks my shoes, I have to reset because I can't kill him. <laughs> yes, they force you into this arena and then the third enemy can just break your items. <laughs> uh. You know, I would say I'm sorry, but I'm um, just not. I already said it. We're I'm, good. I'm just not. <laughs> I should probably be saying it more. But I'm, I'm sorry I'm not saying it enough. <laughs> okay, so this is Sun Col Wait, or is it Sand Coliseum? It was just Sun Coliseum before we came in here. Now it's Sand Coliseum. Yeah. Spell check anyone? Yeah, it does that, it does that for a couple of things. Where yeah. It's like, hey, deliver the package to this person, and it's spelled completely. <laughs> differently so there's beast king's fo's he's watching and uh we're gonna start off here with uh well it's not really sonic he's not blue enough but we want him to uh we want him to heal because if he's healing he's not hurting me <laughs> i mean that's a solid pro you know premise right absolutely and he's close to dead and of course he goes first in this turn <laughs> I wouldn't, that accuracy. I wouldn't be shocked that he has one attack left before he dies. Don't worry, they have just as bad accuracy. Okay, wow, well, I was off by a count then. I mean, you missed like five or six times. So <laughs> Must have zoned off for about five of them. I mean, okay, there's Raft, the first one. Yes, his name is Raft. Uh, next up is uh, Sharif. Wait, yeah, Sharif. Why is he called Sharif? Because he's a he's a scorpion. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> this guy can blind me, which is mildly irritating because Jiang already can't hit anything. I, so I thought this dude could break your armor too. No, it's the third one that breaks your stuff. Oh. The third one we're gonna actually use in sector to try to kill the fight as fast as possible. But one and of one of the reskins on this one can. Though. Yes, there is a enemy. This uh, he's one of those reskins later in the game that you can uh, that can break your items. There's a lot of enemies that do that. So we're just picking on the scorpion. He's not even attack hitting me. Uh, I think I'm going to go for a heal here, because I want to try to go into the last fight with as much health as possible. So, go first, Jane. You know, in a tournament for beastmen, there are surprisingly few beastmen that you fight. Yeah, I know. <laughs> We're fighting beasts. That's, you know, the, the men are just watching. Okay, so, yeah, here's Moran, and uh, please leave my boots alone. I'd be happy if you leave everything alone, but please leave my boots alone. Oh, there's our bandana. <laughs> you thought I was joking about the breaking. <laughs> right out of the gate, too. Hey, don't worry, guys. We can't get confused anymore. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, we want to see him use fireballs, because if he's using fireballs, he's not breaking my bandanas. 
<laughs> you don't have any bandanas left, right? Uh, okay, hopefully we can kill him right here. Okay, well, we can go without a bandana. <laughs> yes, pay your respects to the bandana. <laughs> So yeah, anytime you have an item broken, it actually goes into your inventory as a broken item and it, it has like minimal attack or defense. But now we get to the part of the game where Wells quit playing this game. Um, Beast King Zephos dis decided to curse Gian. Um, the, it's called the Curse of Equal or Unequilibrium or a Curse of Equilibrium or whatever. And basically it makes it so you don't have any equilibrium. equilibrium I can't talk anymore. Equal, Sorry. Equilibrium. Equilibrium. <laughs> it's like 3 a.m., okay? Or 4 a.m. I don't even know. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, if you don't have any, then you can't spin on your head, right? <laughs> Which means Jiang can no longer do three attacks every turn. <laughs> yeah. they He does one now. They just literally nerfed my only damage dealer by 66%. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Curse of Lost Equilibrium. That's it. It's a good thing this game is excellent. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> we get this person named Gabby who joins our party at level one, but she joins our party. At level one. <laughs> uh, do I want to buy another mental bandana? We'll go without it. Oh boy, I should buy another mental bandana. <laughs> I'm going to need that for the next bosses. Although it's only going to work half the time. It's still better than working none of the time. I better go do this. <laughs> well, there goes some of my extra money, though. You have plenty of money. No Not worries. anymore. That, there, there goes some resurrection items right there. Bing! Well, depending on... Uh, what do you need resurrection items for? Everything goes so perfectly. You'll notice it's a shredded bandana I'm wearing now. <laughs> <laughs> if he would have broke like any of my other armor I may have just ignored it but yeah okay so we have the, we need basically we decide that we need to go confront the Beast King Zephos and uh, we want to uh, find out why he did what he did oh boy you got you ready for that impressive damage um, so we're going all the way to the next continent to, to get face to face oh 39 good job <laughs> <laughs> we're going all the way to the next continent in order to confront him on why he did what he did. First, we're going to fight a few fights, usually three, in order to get Gabby to level five. Um, thankfully, since experience scales off of Jane's level, uh, we're getting a lot of experience for these encounters. So that's why it only takes about three fights. So, Palmer, you can do what you want to do. Absolutely. Nice crit. We have a, uh, a $25 donation from Nemo2342 that says, I keep blowing into my keyboard, but it won't let me escape from this game. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for playing this so we don't have to. Donation goes to RPG Chick's Choice. I am also for the uh, task bot there. All the white mages. Yep. The task bot incentive is now at $2,800, so just a little under... $200 remaining so that you can see Taskbot play Final Fantasy with four white mages. Uh, there are also some other incredible challenges coming up for runs later on in the day, as well as some bid wars. So while you guys have the opportunity, make sure you get those donations in if any of those seem like something you would be interested in seeing. So Gabby does about as much damage as Lucia. A little bit more. She, we're, she's actually, so she's going to be a part of our party for a while, and she's actually going to be really helpful later in the game when I actually give her a weapon. Uh, she'll never reach Jane's, well, she actually will reach Jane's level because, you know, he's attacking once. <laughs> Why? The only thing in this game they give you is someone who does damage, and they take it away from you. I'm going to see if I can get a nice mongrel. Wait, this is just for everyone. <laughs> I figure I might as well give you all a little bit more, more blowing because I might have to do it more if I can't find an ice mongrel card. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't you dare. I know what you're thinking. <laughs> 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 
So we're gonna go back to uh, Port Saris because that's how we where we need to go to get to the next continent. We're just gonna fight these enemies along the way, and if we don't get our ice mongrel, then we uh, we will we will just go without it. <laughs> I'll save more, I guess, or get one later. Because I'll, I'll be back here later. Um, this game doesn't have any fast travel until you the final dungeon in the game. So you got to backtrack through every single dungeon <laughs> multiple times. <laughs> oh, did we forget to tell you about that too? <laughs> yes, you're at the very end of the game. Let's give you fast travel now. <laughs> yeah, literally you get the means to get to the final dungeon and you can take that means anywhere you want. <laughs> Okay, well, we're going without Ice Monger. We don't need it for a while, though, but we'll be back here. Don't worry. This is not the last time you've seen the Thieves Forest. At least the ending of the game is very satisfying. <laughs> I told you the ending is amazing. I swear, it's, it's at least... I can't even say it's better than Hoshi. <laughs> Uh, welcome to Port Oblique, uh, the second island, and uh, we want to go to uh, to where the uh, Beast King Zephos is, but there's a blockade right now, so we can co come talk to this random person named Carducci, and uh, he says, go talk to the checkpoint and find out why you can't get there, and we talk to the people at the checkpoint, and they say, <laughs> Gronk has attacked with four deuce in tow. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's what he says. <laughs> I didn't make it up. Basically, so... <laughs> members of the Vile Tribe. Anyone who played the other Lunar games know who they are. They're outcast by El Goddess Althena into the frontier. Has attacked the Cathedral of Althena and taken it over. This beast named Gronk. And he brought four deuce and dough. <laughs> which is not lying. Um, and, well, we need to try to get there because we decide that now that we can only kick once, we might as well try to beat up five bosses. <laughs> so we go through the part of the game here where we get, like, three music changes in, in 30 seconds as Gabby gets us through for some reason. <laughs> There's a lot going on. <laughs> they had to really change the music multiple times. Well, while all this is going on, do you have time for a couple more donations? Sure, we're going to go after Deuce and Gronk. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we, we did have time for donations before Paul <laughs> cry over here. <laughs> we have a $40 donation from JBuck1988 that says, Pet him, which is the people for ethical treatment of ice mongrels. <laughs> Begs, we must protect these precious creatures and stop hunting them for these cards. Everyone, put down their copies of Lunar Dragon Song and let them live in peace. All three people, put it down. You heard it. I got a $15 donation from King Emo Cut that says, Having to use the mic to run from enemies? This game really blows. Good luck on the run, high spirits. Okay, so we picked up a couple of accessories. One allows me to avoid being put to sleep most of the time. Actually, it's like 95%, so it's really rare to get put to sleep. And the other one uh, just raises my magic. But in order to get to where Gronk is, we need to beat up four deuces that were in tow. Say hello to Deuce, by the way. <laughs> so we're going to put the alert ring on you and Amethyst on you. Hey, HS. What? Don't, don't forget to equip the ring. I just did. We're good. Don't forget to equip the sword. That's You flinched. Yeah, you flinched. <laughs> Bring it. Okay. So, yeah, we need to fight four of these deuce. Um, the same enemy over and over again just to get all of the orbs. And this name is Deuce, okay? I'm not making it up. Uh, and this, <laughs> this is actually seriously um, could be a tough encounter because uh, I don't do any damage. So I'm going to be relying on poison. <laughs> Am I missing a joke here or something? <laughs> <laughs> No one is 
stop laughing for like five minutes. <laughs> Oops, I need to attack. <laughs> so what I do is I poison him, and then I'm going to use a Namiya card to regen, and I also used um, a defense buff and an attack buff. And, uh, well, yeah, we're just going to, hopefully, he at least leaves Jian alone. You can tell how much health he has because poison ticks for 5% of his health. So, it's, you know, math is hard. And uh, 41 damage means he has 820 health. See? Hey, no math. No, and, no uh, math in this marathon. I'm hitting him for 58 damage a turn. So, as you can see, poison is pretty vital in these four fights. Uh... Because this game is nice. See, the music is nice. It's kind of upbeat. As I'm getting beat by him. <laughs> I'm going to take a chance here to heal. So, in case you were wondering, the cards are not unlimited usage. Yeah. And uh, if you use them accidentally or uh, anything happens oh. that we need extra uses out of them for some reason, yeah, they're gone after a certain amount of usage. And you got to go farm them again. Yeah. But thankfully, we won't have to do any extra farming uh, besides the cards that we need. Uh, yeah, so there is sync there are limited uses. Each card has between 9 and 20 uses. Um, and you're going to notice in the next fight, I'm actually not going to be using the Insector for the attack buff. Uh, wow, another crit. Um, I'm going to be using Lucia's attack buff, which there's another oh, crit. Another crit. <laughs> oh, he's one health left, by the way. Lucia for the win! <laughs> <laughs> the deuce. We got the deuce. <laughs> deuce and the black orb. So we are going to use our Hellbird card here to uh, heal back our magic. This is the first area where we're going to use those MP restoring cards to speed things up. But yeah, so in this fight, I'm not going to use Insector because I have one use of Insector that I can't use um, in these fights in order to actually have what I need for later in the game. So, and her attack buff is actually worse than, uh, than the Insector, so my damage is going to be down. So I'm going to combat that by using the 100% attack buff. And uh, doing that also means Lucia is not increasing my defense, so I'm going to get hit even harder. <clears throat> so we are going to use uh, in Beelzebuzz there. Yeah, I, I, she have doesn't to, die. <laughs> I have to say, since since we started running this, High Spirit's put in far more time into this game than I would have imagined anybody ever could stand to do so. Hey, or should. <laughs> to be fair, I actually routed this game when it got into Limit Break, okay? You <laughs> there did. wasn't any plans to route this game, actually. More than, like, the, the mess that we came up with at the start. But I did yeah, put but, serious time into this game. Yeah, but even, even from the original notes that we had... It was, it, it's, I, I still can't believe you put that much time into this game. <laughs> Hi, Gabby. They don't have any armor, so they get pummeled. So the scary part about these fights, though, is when Jian's alone and he gets confused, he just might decide to spend several turns not healing himself. And uh, we could just slowly watch ourselves die as we can't do anything about it. <laughs> the mental bandana is helping, by the way. So, yeah, the deuce is actually, so this is... <laughs> The enemy that I'm fighting right now. <laughs> <laughs> so, the, so you thought you so you thought that the single attack was unfair. These things actually do both sleep and confusion when they attack you. So we have um, sl mostly sleep immunity. So it bypass. So it, the first check is sleep, and if it passes, if you uh, if you're if you don't get put to sleep, its next check is confusion. So these things can do two nasty status effects to you, and, uh, oh yeah, you can only punch them once every turn. Oh, Lucia with two kills! <laughs> She's a better deal of damage dealer than Jian! <laughs> so I'm going to use uh, Gloomwing here, because I got to walk now to another the other side. So we're going to use the one that restores MP as I walk. And uh, we're going to head to the other side of the temple where the other two are waiting. The other two what? Deuces. Deuces. <laughs> Figured someone else should say it this time. <laughs> Such a good temple. Okay, that guy's not... So these guys could chase you on top of the stairs. It's really annoying. So we're going to wait here a second until she gets to 43 magic. 
<clears throat> if you got anything else, Palmer, go ahead. We're just got to fight two of literally the same fight that we just did. I got $25 from P. Diggity Dog that says, Hey, high spirits. I hope I made it in time for the blowing. Good luck on the quotation marks game. Don't worry. There's a few more hours left of this. You haven't missed it. <laughs> I got another. I got a four dollar donation for you that says dropping one dollar for every deuce. Good luck, high school. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm so, I, I'm so happy this combat this game sucks and I only have to hold R one. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm laughing too hard right now. <laughs> oh, wait, I actually got a heal, I guess. <laughs> I got a $5 donation from Sarah McLaughlin. <laughs> Laughlin here for a donation of just five dollars. You too can save these ice mongrels. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I think I need a tissue. <laughs> By the way, G ain't confused, so that's fun. <laughs> Lunar Dragon Song, best <laughs> lunar game ever released on the Nintendo DS. Friendly to all ice mongrels and pets. I don't think any other game has had the text station in such... <laughs> they've just been like <laughs> laughing constantly. I've cried three times. <laughs> <laughs> dollar donation from ZYXYZ that says let's take a moment to appreciate how the deuce pumps its arms in time with the music. I'm sorry, Fulgen. I just, I just have to hit him. He has one health left. Come on, confusion. Come on, confusion. Attack. He just did the attack for three turns. Just one attack to him. Yes, finally. I was so waiting for a miss. <laughs> yeah. He, he missed, so he missed four 50%s in a row before he finally attacked. <laughs> I'm winded now. <laughs> I'm beat. One more deuce to go. <laughs> so let's use a hellbird here. I feel like my mental has dropped. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> breathe. Just Shrieker and buff and send the insects after. Just for fun, try doing this without poison. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I have tried that before. It's terrible. It might be literally the worst thing I've ever done. So you all joined the run back there? <laughs> yeah? Yeah, I got a couple more donations for you. Some people are enjoying the run so much if you got the time. Go ahead. We got like a five minute fight here. I can't. <laughs> 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 I got a two dollar donation from Red Silvers that says, maybe the real reason you lost equilibrium is the shortness of breath from using your mic so much. But at least that bandana was shredded. Shredded. <laughs> Just like the deuce. <laughs> you know, now I'm really curious. <laughs> what, are you, what are you curious about? What are you, what are you, you doing back there? You can't see back there. What are you doing back there behind my back? 
I do have another challenge from Dead Man J for $10. It says, I feel bad for you, High Spirit, so to make you feel better, I'll donate $10 for every item broken in this run. Rip, oh, mental bandana. <laughs> All donations will be for runner choice, except for this one. This one is for Wells. Oh. I want some white mages also for the time being. And that brings white mage up to 2920. Guys, we are awesome. almost there. Sweet. $80 left to see the task bot play Final Fantasy with four white mages. The power is in your hands. Guys, get those donations actually, in. Actually, the power is in his hands. Eight broken items, and that's it. <laughs> you heard the man, High Spirits. Get to work. There, there are a couple more enemies that we will come across that could break items. So there is hope. Does that mean Dead Man Jay is going to stay up all night watching this, looking for broken equipment? I'm sure they love the, the game so much they'll watch the VOD. <laughs> yeah, the donation will come later in the week. <laughs> okay, I've used up a lot of here. Oh, this is not too good. So we're going to, now that we've uh, taken care of the four mini bosses, uh, we got to go after Gronk. So do you remember what the deuces looked like, right? They were they were great. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, we do. <laughs> we're all pretty well versed in the deuces at this point. Uh, okay, so remember how I remember how I said this game loves like reskins? No. Can you tell us again? No. I won't have to tell you, I'll just show you. Wait, you mean so soon? So no, there's no way so soon. So we need to actually save out here and uh, do a quick menu because we need to put... Oops, I put the amethyst on you. The amethyst uh, prevents or mostly prevents petrification because nothing ever really does. Um, and uh, we're going to go into a fight with a guy who likes to petrify. Oops. And uh, we actually have two fights that we're going to have to do back to back, but there's kind of a lull in between the fights. And... Uh, we can't save in between the fights, so here's uh, hoping uh, Gronk decides to be nice. So he's basically a reskin, just I didn't quite get as much magic back as I wanted, but that's fine. A reskin what? Reskin. <laughs> he's just purple now, and it's pretty cool music. <clears throat> so I'm gonna Shrieker, going to Namia, dance with the Gronk. <laughs> This is this is definitely like one of the better best themes in the game for sure. You can just headbang, So yeah, this uh, the first attack he did right there was the petrification attack, and he did it on Jiang. He likes to do it in the first turn, um, and most of the time petrification won't work because of the amethyst. But you know, things happen. And uh, we're just gonna hopefully hope this guy doesn't spam AoE abilities, uh, so we can take him out very, very slowly. Because <laughs> you know we don't have any damage. <laughs> Poison is doing about almost half our damage. <clears throat> It'd be nice if he would do that and petrify the girls because they're not really helping out. So look, they killed. Two. The Lucia did kill two of them, <laughs> that is true. <laughs> oh, he can heal, as you can see, but, you know, with poison and Jan's damage, uh, we can slightly out-damage it. It just slows down the fight for... Ooh, nice crit. Just slows down the fight horribly. I feel like I'm missing something behind me. Nice. See, there's Petrify, but don't worry, it wears off in two to five turns. <laughs> I'm holding it, look. <laughs> See? I'm holding it. <laughs> He's almost dead. But yeah, so what the great thing about this game is even when you're petrified and slept or whatever, you can still input commands because I guess if you get cured before your action um, takes place, the, uh, the game will allow your action to take place. So you, you can kind of still like, like watch this, she's going to get an action at the fight. <laughs> Although she's a stone statue. Oh, we got him. So we got counter type two. And That's the fine. Gronk card. And the Gronk card. Which you can use online. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what With we all other three yeah. people that play the game. <laughs> <laughs> They're not playing it now, that's for sure. <laughs> so we're going to change our equipment a little bit here. We got a little bit of magic, so we're just going to heal you. 
And now we're going to go get caught by the Beast Man and sent to the Beast Lord, uh, Zethos. <coughs> and we meet Rufus. Um, don't get attached to him. Already attached. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, we, uh, we get kidnapped for being in here. Although we just beat all of the enemies and freed the cathedral. <laughs> and yeah, basically the Beastmen don't want humans doing heroic things because they're supposed to be weak and frail, and that's what Ezekiel and the Beast King Zethos believe. And uh, yeah, you know, we beat Gronk and a couple of Deuce in tow. <laughs> Sorry, we had to get one more in there. And we get brought before him, and uh, look at that guy. Look at that face. He totally looks concerned. <laughs> there are some interesting drawings in this game, sadly. Uh, <laughs> and basically, he, uh, yeah, he's like, You, you're, you, you're the one in the arena that I cursed? How dare you beat up our people, pretty much. Um, basically, he cursed me because I was too strong. And he didn't want me to, to, to stay strong. And, well, we're going to fight now. Because he cursed me and uh, we got to see how strong a beast men really are compared to humans. So, basically how this fight's going to work is the first four turns, nothing's going to happen. Hopefully he's just not going to attack. <laughs> because that will speed up the fight. And, oh, I countered. That's... <laughs> I didn't take damage at least, okay? <laughs> so he did attack this turn, which is perfect, because I'm going to heal up. So, turn four. So, finally, some hope in this game, as he's going to return our triple attacks. Because he's such a nice guy. Too bad only, like, three of us got to this point in the game. <laughs> exactly. And now we're just going to hope that he doesn't blow me up with crits, and, uh... Okay, he didn't do triple attacks. He can do triple attacks also. So this is basically one, unless he crits me like crazy. But One more turn will kill him. And I can't miss because I use Beelzebub. Oh, he didn't even do triple attacks. And I even threw a crit in there. That'll teach you to curse me. Hey, I got a lucky ring. No, you always get a lucky ring. Oh, there's some of your money back. <laughs> Woo! We got our triple attacks back! Jan's useful again! <laughs> Yeah, that's worth clapping for. Come on. <laughs> so, very slow, deliberate clap that, from the peanut was, gallery. That sounded like a sarcastic clap there. <laughs> I don't know. That seemed pretty, uh, pretty heartfelt. I mean, we just got our triple attacks back. I mean, that's celebration. We can kick things harder again. Okay, so basically what happened is, Gab we find out Gabby is actually the princess, the daughter of Zethos, and she was going around trying to find humans that were strong um, and discourage them from being strong because the vile... Ch <laughs> Story is great, by the way. Um, <laughs> because uh, the beast men were supposed to be strong, but they couldn't... They're, they're having trouble beating, beating up the vile tribe, and they, then uh, Zethos thought, if I thought I was too strong, I might try to go fight the Vile Tribe, and I'll just end up dying and sacrificing my life. So that's why he cursed me. And then he says, oh, by the way, it would have wore off in a couple of days. And, uh, <laughs> jerk. <laughs> and he basically just wanted me to know my limits. So we're going to go running away crying. And you thank him. Actually, we're not going to go running away crying, because we got to go back in and talk to him. <laughs> <laughs> but uh yeah so he's basically going to tell us about the vile tribe it's attacking and uh all of the efforts that the beastmen have been trying to do to stop him and we're going to talk him into giving me permission to go to the frontier to deal with the vile tribe and uh speaking of vile tribe palmer you can go ahead and do your thing yes sir yes sir <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> <laughs> nothing, nothing. Do your thing. I got a $10 donation from Kalos223 that says, The commentary is great. I can't stop laughing since the start of this run. This game looks great. Should I buy it? 
Yes. Yes. Let's just say you'll stop laughing and start crying if you buy it. <laughs> buy it. <laughs> I got a hundred dollar donation from Wu K that says, "Why? <laughs> Why?" <laughs> You should buy this game so HS can fight you in the online Coliseum. Yes! <laughs> Please, I want Coliseum battles. So, so, here's the thing, by the way. So, what you do in the Coliseum battles is you get those collectible cards from the bosses. And um, sometimes it takes a while because some bosses drop both a collectible card and a character card. So, you farm up all of those cards and they have weaknesses and, and, and strengths and attributes. And you basically just choose your deck out of, like the 50 cards that are in the game and hope that your deck is opposite of the deck that you fought, which is probably not because they're all going to choose the strongest cards in the game, just like you. And uh, no one ever actually wins. <laughs> e even, even, even a child's card game can't redeem this game. <laughs> if you have the cards, you're already the winner. <laughs> yeah, if you took the time to farm the cards, you deserve a free win, okay? If you own all of them. You got any more, Palmer? I do, I do. Okay. I have a $25 donation from Cyborg Grandpa that says, waking up from a dead sleep and rolling over to see the truly fantastic game that is Lunar Unexperience. Good luck with the rest <laughs> of the run. I got a five, $5 donation from Sonic the Hedgehog that says, I spend all my time trying to save the animals. You're just here killing ice mongrels. Not very well. <laughs> I have a one dollar donation from Scooby Deuce that says, "Rut row, it's rag and wrong." <laughs> <laughs> Thank you all very much. Very creative. We enjoy that. Bring the puns. Come on, let's see your puns. I got a ten dollar donation from Marikaze that says, "I can't make this up. My friend walked into the room and just asked, what the deuce is this?" <laughs> <laughs> change my equipment <laughs> so we uh we were supposed to go to this place called sungrid bridge but we need to um sell some stuff and buy upgrade our gear now and uh, before we head to the next area and then we're going to try to head to the frontier to deal with the vile tribe so we're going to buy your shoes and we're actually going to give garnet claws for gabby so she can be slightly useful and then when it comes to armor, we don't care about anyone else other than Jane, so we'll upgrade his gear. Although I'm going to be a little short on money because I had to buy an extra mental bandana. Well, Gabby has the AoE, so she's sort of, kind of useful a little bit. Yeah, she has the AoE ability, but even when, with, the, uh, with what I gave her, she actually does a little bit of damage. If only she could do triple attacks, then she might actually be useful. <laughs> we just saw triple attacks aren't that useful. We beat those deuces. I poisoned them to death. <laughs> so I'm gonna sell off my uh, some of my old gear that I had, including the shredded bandana, <laughs> and use this money here to uh, allow me to buy some more healing and a couple of resurrection items. I want to buy three, but I'm not going to really be able to afford it since I had to spend 900 more on the, uh, well, the shredded thing that now sells for like one. <laughs> so we'll go with two, 41 healing. We can go with that. We can work with that. Kind of. Sure, everything will be fine. You no, won't even need it. <laughs> okay, so the bridge we're going to go to. Uh, I really like the music on it, by the way. I think it's really hype. Uh, we need to get two more cards. The last two cards in the game that we need to farm. Well, unless we want to get Ice Mongrel. <laughs> and uh, so this is actually basically two out of three. There's one required card that I need. And then one of two, basically. So we're going to look for the required card first. Which is not spawning at all. There you are. So this Vitra, the flying rat there, we need that, but we don't need any of these other ones. Um, that Vitra card up there heals your entire party to full, whether it's in combat or out. It's my major healing, um, especially after some big attacks that I gotta hope I survive. 
So this is the last real big RNG part of the game, unless, like I said, I don't get Ice Mongrel and I'm praying I don't get jammed into encounters that I can't run from. But I'll just save in case that happens. I was gonna say, what if we tell you about saying things like that? <laughs> what? I'm just talking about the game. You're the mm -hmm. one. <sighs> yeah, you've absolutely never jinxed yourself before, High Spirits. <laughs> I totally did not jinx an entire audience earlier, okay? <laughs> We got a couple counterattacks in there, that's cool. So we're gonna hope to get this card. And then after that, we need one of two monsters, either Enigma or Dwager. Both of them are used to nerf um, stats. The Dwager would be the most optimal one, but Enigma will be serve our purpose. And we got Vitra, well, and Termite, but we don't care about Termite. So the problem with getting Vitra now is Dwager and Enigma don't appear on the world map. There's two Enigmas. So I have to just run into every encounter and hope I find them. The Enigmas are those flying one-winged angels, dolls in the sky. Or weather vanes, because they kind of have the other wing that's not really doing anything. That's a straw. It's a straw. <laughs> they look happy. They're probably having a Slurpee right now. <laughs> so if we get this Enigma card, we'll take it. Basically, this card is for the end game. Uh, if we get the Dwager card, we can use it for three fights. If not, we can use it for two. Pretty much. <laughs> and uh, the reason why is because these cards nerf the end game bosses. Um, there's two bosses at the very end of the game who have uh, attacks that do a lot of damage, but they're intelligence based damage. Uh, nope. Uh, the Dwager lowers all of your stats when you use it as a card. The Enigma lowers intelligence. So both cards work very well for what we're, uh, what we're trying to accomplish. Yeah, and they, and they do stack. Oh yeah, you're gonna see a boss turn into a puppy. And then a Pokeball. <laughs> we'll get to that later. So, nothing here, here it goes. It's back. I know you all missed it. Uh, nope. <laughs> Another counter attack. Well, while this is taking place, you have time for a couple more <coughs> donations for you? Go right ahead. I might interrupt you, though. Hold on. Okay. I have $5 from Mahatma Gandhi that says, <laughs> Greatness of a speedrun and its route progress can only be judged by the way its ice mongrels are treated. They've never had so much love in their life. I do have a $1 donation from Kalas again that says, One more question. Why did you decide to speedrun this game? RPG Chick bought me the game. <laughs> <laughs> That's the reason it, she bought the game. That's literally the reason. She bought the game. <laughs> and then, you know, here we are today, all questioning our life decisions. I, I didn't think it would be appropriate for him to have played every other Lunar game and not experience but hey, this. we're doing this for a good cause. We're raising money. We are raising money <laughs> by playing this game. <laughs> Trying to think of something nice to say about this game. Uh... <laughs> Uh, I can't get my. I can't get any of the monsters I need. Well, we are in fact raising money. RPG Limit Break 2019 is sponsored by Twitch, and we are coming to you live from Salt Lake City, Utah. We are raising money for NAMI, the National Alliance on Mental Illness. A NAMI was formed in 1979 as a grassroots advocacy organization by a group of parents whose children suffered with mental illnesses and NAMI have maintained that focus to this day. So your money is going to an incredible cause, and there are some amazing challenges and bid wars coming up that that money can go towards as well. It looks like the task bot playing Final Fantasy with four white mages is down to only $60 of 3,000. $60 left so that you guys can see the task bot do that. Five so. more broken items. Five. Six. <laughs> six, six, more. six more broken six. items. Oh, wait, yeah, he, he donated the first ten already. We're now measuring everything in broken items. <laughs> it's basically the Agamas of, of Lunar Dragon Song. Okay, so that one guy with the flail was the Dwager. That's the one I really would like. But, you know. <laughs> yeah, no, you're not an ice mongrel, right? You're a Dwager. You're going to give me your nope. rope. <laughs> so I can catch me another one later. I don't know. 
So the problem is with this is I'm taking a lot of damage and it's going to start burning my healing drops, which I got to be careful how many I burn because I wasn't able to buy as much as I want. Oh, there goes my dash. Come on, we can get you. Oh, another Dwager. He defended. Come on, Gabby. Finish it off. Yeah, once we get this one more card, we will be done with cards the rest of the game. Unless, like I said, we go for Ice Mongrel, which, you know, if I'm feeling a little froggy, I might just stitch together a bunch of tails and pretend I have it and just continue the game. Come on, Drager. Give us your card. You got a Caltrop, though. I'm just going to step on it myself. That's the problem. Okay, next room. Continue fighting till we get what we need. We could go without this card, but it would make the final, well, one of the last bosses, I should say, specifically one, um, insanely difficult and much slower because I would have to do a lot of healing. Yeah, I was going to say, why would you want to put yourself through that? Isn't This is enough like, as it is. <laughs> I mean, like, he's going to do more than half my da health in, with a, an AoE attack, so... We need to nerf him so he's a puppy. A cute, adorable puppy. And a Pokeball. Man, my R1 button is taking a beating since I started running this game. Hopefully it doesn't give out before the end of the game. I know. <laughs> Let's play it slow-mo, everyone. <laughs> Come on, Dwager, Dwager. Ah, Chupacadra. I don't want Chupa Chupacabra. Uh, I don't need to heal here. Chupacabra is those things up there in the sky. Well, hi, while High Spirits takes care of business right here, I'm just going to remind you guys that we do have multiple language restreams going on right now. Uh, so if you guys are looking... To, uh, to watch one of those, you can find them at French Restream at twitch.tv slash lefrenchrestream. Our German Restream at twitch.tv slash germenchrestream. And our Japanese stream at twitch.tv Japanese Restream. Sorry, twitch.tv Japanese underscore Restream. If those Restreams can help you enjoy this marathon, make sure you go and check them out. Send them some love. Don't mind me just blowing through the grating. Uh, and we're not having much luck running from anything right now. Wouldn't it be nice to have a nice Mongol card? <laughs> no, because I wouldn't even use it here. It would be a waste to use it here. This is just normal bad luck. Yes, run into me. Save me from healing too much. Come on. I'm not even getting many of them to appear. That's the problem. We kind of need to farm it here soon because we're getting to the point of no return. There's a Dwager and two Enigmas. We have three chances. We're going to get a Termite, aren't we? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> oh, well, we already got a Termite card, though. Oh, did we? Yeah. I blanked that one out. If it's not a card I want, I just ignore it. Oh, yeah, but, but at least it's a better chance. Bye, Lucia. You were helpful. Not really. Hey, she killed monsters and Gabby so far. <laughs> she was in the way, took damage that GM did. I know, she take. tanked. This, okay. Sometimes you gotta have the true. tank. <laughs> Come on. Three monsters here. This is the last, maybe last card that we need. And Enigma will take it. So that means one boss will be a little bit harder, but we can get around it. Kind of. Probably didn't need to heal Gabby there. Okay, so now we're gonna run to the end of the bridge. So, fun fact about this bridge that leads to the frontier. This bridge has all of Lucia's best gear in the game. If you uh, if you wanted to take the time to, to do all the levers and find all of her 
best gear in the game, you can do it. But there's a reason why this is Lucia's best gear in the game. We're going to be introduced to a guy or a monster named Gideon. Gideon is going to look very familiar, like the other Vile Tribe bosses that we fought. He's just a different color. <laughs> they can't even give the major villains a new skin, you know? And oh, there's poor Rufus laying on the ground, beat up. But this is a trap. We sprung the trap card. Here comes Gideon, purple deuce, AKA Gronk. And he steals Lucia and disappears. And then we get introduced to the antagonist of the game, Ignatius. This evil, you can tell he's evil because the music is evil. And he has like gargoyle statues, so he's evil. That's the, you know, close enough. Uh, and he talks about capturing the goddess Elthina and using her to rule all the humans. <clears throat> and uh, so that's why he kidnapped Lucia, because he's he thinks that she is the goddess Elthina. And he talks a lot. And he just talks about groveling and... You know, I don't think I've realized before how closely that track tries to imitate the song that plays when Zenobia and the yeah. Wild Tribe Sisters reveal themselves. This game has a lot of that. So Lucia is gone, but don't worry, we have green-haired Lucia, a.k.a. Flora. She is she gets every spell that Lucia did. The only difference is she uses a bow that does as much damage as the umbrella. <laughs> so in other words, she's not any different. But there's a lot of talking. So she decides to join our party to help us try to go rescue Lucia. And uh, she joins our party at level one because, you know, why halfway through a game would anyone want to not join your party at level one? Well, when she was out and about, she was using item collection mode. <laughs> Obviously. She got a fancy bow out of it, apparently. I think the bow doesn't work, though. So she forces herself to come with us because she knows the way to Ignatius' castle. So we take her along because we need a healer. And we need a, a target. <laughs> That's not Jiang. That will never get attacked. Except for when I'm trying to gain her levels and then she'll get attacked all the time and never actually gain any levels. Basically. As it should be. Why? Because Lunar Dragon Song. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, there's a lot of talking here. Yeah, this middle part of the game has actually a lot of talking, but not a lot of story. <laughs> you know how they say, like, mean, well, you know, get to the point when you're saying something? This game doesn't do that. It just drags it out and then gets to the point in a long, long paragraph after you've mashed through many, many screens of slow text. Yeah, but it's Dragon Song. It's not even a good point. <laughs> yeah, I know. Okay, so we got Flora with us. Like I said, she is level one with 24 health to start. <laughs> and uh, we need to go through these mines here in order to get to uh, the frontier or to get to the desert. It'll take us to the frontier. And we need to, to level her up a little bit. We want to fight maybe three fights while we're in here. Uh, well, when we actually enter the mine. And in order to get her a handful of levels. And before we fight the first fight, we need to heal because she's already at 17 health. <laughs> Because, lol, you lose health when you're running. <laughs> and we're just going to hope that she survives. I mean, she's not going to survive very long if she gets focused. And three enemies is nice, so just leave Flora alone. That's all. <laughs> she left Flora alone, so that's good. <laughs> this guy can blind. Apparently 100% of the time, because I haven't seen him miss a whole lot. Whoa, nice <laughs> counter attack. <laughs> You did well, Jing. Hey, you hit twice. We'll give you that. This is looking good for Flora. She's going to gain a few levels. She's basically going to double her health after this fight. Eight hundred XPs. Goes to forty-seven health and jumps. Look. Oh yeah. By the way, look at her sprite. Okay. I forgot to point that out, but we'll point that out in the next encounter. She as. She's drinking too much of Palmer's coffee. Uh, and she's a little <laughs> hyper. And she has the best sped up sprite, um, cheerleader sprite, after you win a battle. 
I mean, even in the battle, she looks like she's 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 ready to go. Oh, there goes my dried glass. Uh, that's Crash. another broken item. No, that was stolen. Oh, stolen. Never yeah, mind. these bats steal from you. They steal those useless package delivery items that we'll never actually use. I, every time I see that thing on the bottom of the screen, I just automatically assume it's been broken and that's it. No, Flora. Ow. No, Flora. <laughs> I don't think these things actually ever get a, uh, a version that breaks items. I can't remember a zone. No, no, I don't think so. Okay, watch Flora here, because she's going to be really excited to win this experience. Look at her go. She's the best cheerleader. Look at oh, now she's going faster. Shaking intensifies. Yeah, she's having a good time. She's enjoying the road trip. <laughs> she is the best cheerleader. Oop. Ran out of magic. <laughs> or out of health. So I am burning through a lot of heal drops. I think I'll have enough. But I might have to use magic more in certain areas. But yeah, we're just going to run through this dungeon. Maybe fight one more encounter. So Palmer, if you have anything. I do, in fact. I have a $10 donation from Quantum V that says, Thanks for this cool entertainment that is also a great help. Good luck for all the runners and commentators. Thank you. I'm, and gla I I'm glad Lunar Dragon Song is entertaining you. I have a $20 donation from Clawsy with no comment. Thank you both so much for those donations. So one thing that you got to be careful of is when you're going north, you're actually closer to the top of the screen than any other direction. So if, like, if you're going directly north and an enemy starts chasing you from the north, you have almost a no reaction time to avoid running into that encounter. And uh, you're going to see me get caught a couple of times, most likely. But that's this dungeon, and on to the desert. So the desert is the next chunk of RNG, because in the second room of the desert, I must farm the blue chest. Because the blue chest has the second best weapon in the game for Jiang. <laughs> so we're going to hope for five encounters, not seven, and we got five again. Yes. Wow, we're getting really lucky with these uh, these grind encounters. This is the last one, by the way. So after this, we'll be able to manipulate um, however many encounters we want in a zone when we farm a blue chest. Well, it's not entirely true. Wait, is there another one I'm forgetting? <laughs> the, uh, the ones in the tower, the, f the, the four areas, or is it three areas? Where three. you have absolutely no control, oh, but you well, can't leave and return. That's different. That we're not going to be farming a blue chest there. No, but it's still a grind area. <laughs> yeah. So this game has forced level grinding, by the way. You notice how we said enemies scale with your level? Well, at the end of the game, in order to get to uh, the last area where Ignatius is, you have to... God dang it, she died. Uh, you have to fight enemies. <laughs> and force level grind. Yep. So that's not good, because we're only fighting five enemies, and Flora already died, and I kind of want to resurrect her. But I kind of don't. Also, I need to save after this encounter because this zone has an enemy that can break your items. But uh, Flora is going to be massively underleveled. And we're just going to have to deal with it. Those crystals are really dangerous. They do a lot of magic damage. And Jiang... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, we can get by this just a little slow. <laughs> Don't target Jiang. Okay. We can get by this. Rip one of my two heal our uh, resurrection items. <laughs> oh well. Flora's gonna be a little under leveled, which is sad. It means she's not gonna survive a certain boss fight, most likely. At, at least, if nothing else, they do get resurrected after the fight. <laughs> it's some very yeah. small consolation. Small consolation. That sounds like a good quality to me. There's another five. Cha-ching. 
<laughs> oh, I forgot to save. Yeah, those crystals always do a lot of damage because they're magic damage. And even though Jiang has all of that armor, that armor does not protect against a fireball to the face. Although there is one armor that does, but we don't have access to that yet. I mean, she might survive that attack. If it gets a low roll. We'll see when we get there. If she doesn't, oh well. We'll uh, can't afford to resurrect her right now. But we're a little ways away from that, so ignore my bumble mumbling, by the way. I'm trying to plan ahead for the future. So yeah, we only have to fight five fights, which is really nice. Here's another fireball enemy. This is not the last blue chest that we're going to farm, but... Hi, Flora, are you happy? But we, uh... This is, the, this is the last one where it's random how many enemies that we're going to fight for it. Like, we can force a certain amount of enemies if we want. So I'm running around right now trying to find the enemies. The big thing, though, is... Saving. Um, making sure I try to search, like, the far-off places. Because we still are under the clock. That timer is ticking. Yeah, every time it loops around, essentially, one check mark gets removed. I'm glad I saved here, by the way. Yep. The enemies flying are the ones that break your items. There's three of them. At least I just saved, so if they break anything important, I can reset. <laughs> so we're going to use Gabby's AoE here to help out. Twice, I believe, will be enough to kill all of them. Leave Flora alone. Leave Jin alone too. I don't want you to break anything. Oh shoot. Now I never mind. I got silence. So now I can't use the AoE. <laughs> there goes my master plan. And confusion on Jiang also. I think this is a short battle. I know. <laughs> this fight's going glorious right now. That feeling the random encounters last longer than some of the boss battles. Yeah. Because Jiang just went two turns in a row without attacking. <laughs> if I, you know, they blocked my AoE, they blocked my attacker. Like that, that's three turns in a row he didn't attack. There's not much you can do in this case. I mean, I could heal it with Flora if I really wanted to. No, because that would be a waste of her MP. Yeah. Plus, you know, you don't expect to go three turns without an attacking. I I don't know. I always expect to go a lot of turns without attacking when Gian gets confused. <laughs> that was harder than some of the bosses I've fought so far. Okay, so we're going to look around for where the next... Because there's only two enemies left, so the big question is finding where they are. But there's a, still a big chunk of this map I haven't been to yet. Plus, they move around, so... use up some of my mental gums because I haven't even used them yet. I got them. I might as well use them. Because I don't really have any plans for them. The mental drops, though, the ones that restore more magic, I do need those for a specific boss fight. And picking up a few is really helpful. There's one. Where's the other one? Kind of like, because I might, you know my timer is going down, but where the heck is this last one? There you are, okay. Oop, what am I doing? Too fast. And, uh, yeah, I gotta try not to use any more Gabby's magic if possible. Because I want Gabby... Once, so one thing about this game is when you clear out every enemy in a zone, um, not only do you get the blue chest, but you get a minor HP and MP um, restore on your entire party. And I want Gabby to be over 20 magic after this uh, blue chest, which 
you know, she will get easily when I open it. And we know where the last two, or well, the last one enemy is, so we can get these shoes and uh, Jian can do a little bit more damage and blind too, which doesn't work as well on the enemies as it does me. Yeah, nothing you can inflict on, except for poison, nothing you inflict on the enemies works as well as it does on you. Yeah. Poison works just as well on you, but since you don't have a high health total, yeah. it doesn't really take a whole lot. Flora. So she's going to be oh, 76 health, is she? Oh, she got beat up. So level 10. That's a couple levels lower than what I want her to be. <laughs> Still could have been worse. Mm, well, it can still be worse. Don't worry. <laughs> I have faith. Uh, do I really want to go the end game without the Ice Mongrel card? It just means I got to do more saving and uh, hope for the best. <laughs> I'm sure you'll be able to run, no problem. <laughs> nah. <laughs> Some, you know, some of the endgame enemies are just impossible to run from at my level. They just... <sighs> but we're not there yet. So, for now, we're just going to punch a scorpion in the face. Or kick him. Or claw him. We'll kick the other one in the face. <laughs> really hard. Well, while this is taking place, I'll take the opportunity to remind you guys that we do have challenges, bid wars, and prizes all coming up soon. Uh, the run right after this, The World Ends With You, you have an option to choose the soundtrack choice. Currently, Original is in the lead with $360, and Final Remix uh, is in second with 96 So if that is something you want to have a say in, make sure that you get your donations in now. On top of that, we have the Taskbot plays Final Fantasy IV with only white mages challenge, and that is still $60 out of 3,000 remains for that goal to be met. So we got one more room in the desert we have to go through here real quick, and then we will pop out the other side. Oh, enemies everywhere. Okay, so when we get to here... Uh, Ji Yang decides that it's too dangerous for the girls to go, and he leaves them behind. <laughs> Just says, go away. Again, more cliche we've never seen yeah. in any other RPG ever. <laughs> I mean, he's the one who won the tournament, isn't he? He can handle everything by himself. <laughs> I don't know. He's not going to do too well by himself, but he's going to try. So this is the canyon. This is the last uh, er area before getting to Ignatius's castle. Oh, no, that's not good. Uh, we got Okay, good. We have to be careful with these jets because they reverse your controls if you run into them. And uh, being reversed to controls while three enemies are chasing you is not really fun. Especially when you don't have a guarantee flee. <laughs> So we get some more awesome belches and burps, because the game loves that for some reason. And we're going to heal up, because we got a boss. So we come across these three things, which, as you can see, pretty much reskins of three regular enemies turned into bosses because we can't have original bosses we can't have nice things in this game <laughs> named several nice things earlier no good things not nice things and you know we obviously can't do this ourselves. so to the rescue is Rufus remember the guy I told you not to get attached to already attached already attached <laughs> he's here to save the day not and as, Gabby not as good as Leo his ears don't wiggle <laughs> Still annoying. I mean, Mystere. <laughs> wiggle, wiggle. Well, Mystere is even better. Maybe Rufus is Mystere. You don't see him in the rest of the game. Well, to be fair, you don't see him in the rest of this game either. But, okay, so this fight. Well, if he manages to live 
through so, Lunar Silver Star and eter into Eternal Blue. I mean, that that's that's pretty impressive all on its own. So we are going to use our last Insector card, and we're going to regen and uh, and poison the enemy, and then we're just going to hopefully beat them. <laughs> Oh, we don't want to see focus fire because that's bad. And uh, both Gabby and Rufus have an AOE attack, which is really helpful here, but Rufus has already taken a ton of damage. Oh, my rope got stolen. And my acorn. <laughs> I was going to feed those to the ducks outside. Come on. No feeding the ducks. Poor Rufus is getting just blown up. For those who don't know, we have a lot of ducks here at RPG Limit Break. A lot. They're very friendly. Some would say too friendly. And very protective geese also. <laughs> They're lovable and adorable. So we're going to have to heal after this fight because Rufus got blown up. Well, on top of ducks and geese, we also have a $1 donation from Red Silvers that says, It's great that High Spirits loves the Flora cheerleader dance, but why aren't we seeing more love? Flora would dance even harder if we could break 64k before the end of this game. Yeah, I thought we were going for 100000 for Nino Cooney. We'll take all we got. <laughs> <laughs> takes what we can get, and we takes no more. Okay, so we beat them up, so now we got a party again. Mine is Flora. To go try to deal with Ignatius. The big bad villi. Gabby's assertive. And we, we get some more belching. We like belching. So this is uh, this this room coming up is not a long dungeon here, but this next room has a really big sticking point where we have to go up a couple sets of stairs, and there could be monsters chasing me at the top of those stairs, not letting me through. Oop, wrong way, <laughs> this way. Just trying to avoid the jets to uh, avoid the confusion. So here comes the sticking point right here is, yep, there's someone watching me. This is a little bit annoying and problematic. Uh, uh, come on, go back down. There we go. Ah, don't know how I got caught there, but we did. Oh, well. It's very brief. It's only a few seconds, but we got past the sticking point. He was there. He wanted it. So this is the Vile Castle, the final area in the game. Because Ignatius is here, so obviously it must be. And he's evil, because he has evil music. So he must be here. I don't know, I'm just trying to pin things together. Are you trying to make sense of this game? <laughs> trying to tell a story, narrate a story. A very bad story. <laughs> uh, all coming for me, but that's fine. So we go through the door, and hey, it's Gideon, the person who stole my girlfriend. I mean, Jean's girlfriend. And Rufus is like, don't worry, I can handle this foul beast myself. You go on ahead and get Lucia. Remember how I said don't get attached to Rufus? <laughs> Already attached. I'm sorry, Wills. <laughs> this is going to be painful for you. <laughs> Or belching inside the castle. <laughs> wait, What's with these sound effects? Wait, wait, does that mean Rufus isn't around anymore? <laughs> so there is Ignatius. He gets fancy music, a picture, and uh, here comes Rufus. Or here comes, I mean, used to be Rufus, because he's Gideon. And uh, he has Rufus's sword in his mouth. 
Rip Rufus. Oh, no. Your 07 is a Rufus, everyone. <laughs> he did more damage than Gabby and Flora will ever do. <laughs> at least... <laughs> at least you can get the sword back. Yeah, he gave the sword back, and then... Well, we decide that we don't want the sword anymore, so we throw it in. Aww. This is basically Ignatius gloating a bunch now. About being untouchable, because he's, you know, he's too much power. I demand Magic Emperor Galleon. <laughs> you get Magic Emperor Ignatius, and you'll enjoy it. <laughs> So he decides that he's going to show us how strong he really is. And uh, he's not, look at this music, this is fancy music. There's no way he can be that strong. Ooh, that's a big one. 11.25. Hey, we hit him once. That's impressive. Only 9.06, please. Oh, time to do some grinding. I think we lost. <laughs> I think he can still do it. <laughs> so we get beat up by Dragon Master Ignatius. Yes, he's a Dragon Master. Anyone who played the other Lunar games knows what that means. It means he befriended the four dragons for some reason and they all love him. And now he has thousand damage fire comically oversized fireballs of death to my face. Still a better Dragon Master than Nash. Mm -hmm. Never. <laughs> Nash could never do a thousand damage. <laughs> <laughs> so now there's a lot of t talking here a lot of uh people um gging qqing not gging qqing <laughs> see lots of sad music lots of music changes gabby's sad because she couldn't protect and obviously uh we're angry because we couldn't save lucia who looked really like the goddess Althena, except for with pink hair. Which makes no sense, because there's no other time in anything that the goddess Althena has anything other than blue hair. Why this text is so slow? <laughs> so you got anything, Palmer? Because, you know... Text. I do have a few things to say here. Sure. That I can, uh, that I can <laughs> drop to fill this time. Well, you may have noticed talk about the incentives and prizes, and I cannot can't stress it enough. You really want to see Taskbot play Final Fantasy with four white mages. Yeah, it's going to be amazing. But at the same time, I wanted to just take a second to show some love for our community artist, Carrie Fry, and she designed the RPG Lunar Break logo, and Mega Weasel, who is responsible for some of the incredible emotes that you guys gain access to by subscribing to the channel. All revenue from subs and the ads we run will go to help us run future RPG on B marathons. But fret not, 100% of all donations will always go straight to Nami. So we spend a few days in bed healing up, and we only start at one health. <laughs> <laughs> this game does not like to get free healing, by the way, okay? Like, there is no cutscene in the game where you actually recover your health because of a story cutscene. Oops. That was one of the great game designs. <laughs> yeah. Even after you get beat up and killed in the encounter. No, after all the story triggers, you're still at one health. <laughs> so we come to uh, we come to Gads, where we're supposed to work. And uh, surprisingly, we got a package from Lucia that was delivered today. But the reason why it was delivered today is because it's our anniversary between Jiang and Lucia. And inside of it is a fancy pair of shoes that aren't as good as mine, but they're not bad either. In other words, we don't care. I mean, we're going to go save her or attempt to, but we don't care about the shoes. <laughs> All it does is rekindle my, my hatred and my desire to go after her. So we decide to go to the Beast King, Zethos, first. So we can hear him talk for a while. And maybe try to give us some information <laughs> on what to do. He's very long when he doesn't have many scenes, but when he does, he milks it. <laughs> Good thing there's fast travel to get to him right away. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Actually, it's very fast to get to him, thankfully. Because I could just push a bunch of, bunch of, uh, bunch of buttons and uh, watch this. Cathedral, 
Go outside. Lethon City. Zethos Castle. Ca er, I pushed the wrong button. <laughs> Zethos Castle. Look at that. Barely had to move. Very minimal sweating from our poor hero and heroine who are losing health while they dash. Did we ever say how much that mechanic makes no sense? Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> it was overshadowed a little bit by all the blowing into the microphone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't argue that. That's what the people want. They want me blowing into the microphone. Well, apparently so, because you didn't get a nice mongrel yeah. card. The ice mongrels want it, too. <laughs> You know, <laughs> that cool breeze. It's a shame that people at home can't hear Vulgin over there. <laughs> he has a really long-winded explanation every time I talk about <laughs> blowing into the microphone. Can't even do it. He's trying to do something, but he just cracked up laughing. <laughs> uh. <laughs> nice try, though, bud. Hey, effort. Here comes the breeze. I don't know if everyone at home can hear it. Probably not. Oh, he's just trying can. to. Oh, they can. Oh, he's sharing his love for everyone. Now everyone at home gets to know what we've been putting up with outside of Lunar Dragon Song. <laughs> <laughs> and if you enjoyed those beautiful wins, donate some more. He'll do it again. <laughs> I, I, I have nothing. Vulcan will blow into the mic ever every donation. <laughs> you heard it here first, folks. <laughs> If you want to hear that visual and auditory ASMR, then get those donations in. I, actually, uh, let's, let's, let's strike that. Let's, let's, let's strike that. If we get 140 single dollar donations, he will do it 140 times. We can hit 65K by the end of this run. Uh. Well, back to the story. <laughs> After meeting K Beast King Zethos, he tells us to go to Heal Res because there's someone there that can give me some direction about uh, Dragon Master Ignatius. Are you still trying to get Ice Mongol cards? I'm just trying a couple fights here <laughs> since they're on the way. And people want it. <laughs> they don't want it from Vulagen, they want it from me. <laughs> Are you sure about that? Unless they donate a lot of money right now, then we know what they really want. Okay, come on. Last ditch ice monger. Look, that thing's not going to survive. That thing just went splat. I have faith in the ice mongrel tail. I, mean, I do too. <laughs> Got to finish the set. And, and, and. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you got a tail. <laughs> Thanks, Wells. I didn't realize that the first time. No, no problem. You know, Wells, for your for your help, you get a couple minute long mashing cutscene. So enjoy. Oh, I will. I will enjoy tremendously. So how's everyone out there? Doing all right. You How are, are you? Oh, I'm fine. I'm just mashing the A button for a while. Okay. So this is Titus or Titus, depends which game, uh. or if you care. <laughs> Come on, Casa. What do you want? Titus. As I said, this is. FF10. Is this Team Titus or Team Titus? Titus. Oh, we got a Titus and a Titus. We're out gonna there. need some donations to break this tie. Please don't. Not for that. <laughs> 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 but he's basically gonna tell us about the goddess Althena, and well, the goddess Althena has decided that you know being all powerful and everything is great, but it's not for the world, and she thinks that humans should. Uh, be able to choose their own destiny or the people humans and beastmen choose their own destiny and not have a single ruler so she basically like lunar one uh takes the basically is reborn into being a human and uh it was reborn into lucia and uh she so basically the the people on earth 
or on this blue star, I should say. Or is it lunar? I don't know. It depends. It doesn't really tell you that. No, it doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't tell us if we actually made it to the blue star or <laughs> to the lunar or if we're still on the blue. I don't know. Um, but anyways, she basically hides and uh, lets people run their own lives. And uh, she's been captured. And in order to beat Dragon Master Ignatius, we must become a Dragon Master ourselves. And we must go to the four dragons in order. Remember how the game rammed it? down our throat earlier in the game what the order was it doesn't matter because the game forces you to go in that order after all of that work to try to force you to remember the order and we've also never ever seen a storyline like this in no. Lunar ever no never we also have never seen this next dungeon we're going into no not 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 even once never walked through it several times <laughs> i don't believe you so flora shows up because well plot story so we got our hyper we got our hyper uh coffee addicted friend back palmer's back <laughs> he's been here all along <laughs> i'm still here guys don't worry and i actually have a couple donations for you if you got the time my spirits go ahead we have a 75 dollar donation from transquina that says here is another good quality about this game the character portraits were well done even though the characters themselves we're not. Lies. <laughs> we have a $1 anonymous donation that says, how about 65 k for an All Achievements Crystal Bearers run? That's only, what, 20 hours of re Wii Remote Final Fantasy? I guess that one's for me. Yeah, that's all you. I'm not getting involved in this one. I Come learned on. my lesson. I guess I'll do it. That's, what, two hours before the end of this run? 65 k if you guys can do it. Then, I, then I'll do it. Yes, he will. And High Spirits will join if you get to 66K. So we come to this bridge here. So, <laughs> so in order to get to the dragons, we must solve a puzzle. And the first puzzle is this strange word that they read backwards, and it says none can walk on water, and we solve the puzzle. And, yeah. Yeah, come on. <laughs> Didn't I say they're lazy in this game? So all of the four puzzles are, well, the first two, I should say, are pretty hilariously bad. And um, that's puzzle one right there is just to read a thing backwards. And we did. And now we can go to the red dragon after we scare off that poor Ivysaur. <laughs> Run in terror. Ed Giang the Destroyer. Wait, that's supposed to be Lucia the Destroyer. Little fly there trying to get a little fr frisky in my way. Give so it to oop. <laughs> I can't give it any more Zagnut bars. <laughs> so we got this desert now. This room right here, we are going to want to farm for the blue chest, but we're not going to do it yet um, because. When we go take on the red dragon, remember how I told you earlier in the game that there is magic in this game and there's four spells <laughs> that Jian gets? Well, the four spells are basically the four uh, rings that you get for beating the four dragons. And all they are is the same AoE attack, but with a different element. Oops, get around there. Yeah, I know. The magic is just. <laughs> magic is very creative, too, isn't it? <laughs> like, they give you four magic spells, and they're not. They're, they're the same animation, <laughs> the same attack. The only difference is the element. What a dumb game. <laughs> Here's the red dragon lair. So, each, dra each lair has a uh, gimmick. Uh, the first gimmick here is heat damage. After you take a handful of steps, you'll take a point of damage, but it'll also pause you for briefly. So if you're being chased by monsters, you're most likely going to get caught and killed because, or attacked at least, because, you know, you get paused. Also, very tight corridors, so <laughs> welcome to the rest of the game. Okay, they're all running away. I better get over there before they all run up the path. Okay. Because <laughs> they will run up that path and get stuck in there, and you'll be forced to fight them in order to get out. <laughs> so we're going to come over here first because there is a ring over here that's a very nice ring it's called the force ring it increases Jiang's damage overall oh that's what got me was the pause oh this is not nice uh this is not good this is a lot of damage 
that feel when you wish you had a nice Mongo I, card. <laughs> I could sacrifice all the tails that I have right now. Uh, shoot, we might have to do something here. Um, I have the extra uses of the Vitra card, but this is where the Ice Mongrel card would be nice. And I think I should probably do a save early. I was hoping to not have to save before the boss. But yeah, those crystals do a ton of magic damage. Rip Flora. going for it. Although I really wish you would have got the experience. Cause, oh wait, no, I'm not doing experience. I'm in card mode. I'm in item mode. They're asleep on Jan. This battle is going well. Yeah. Really don't want to die here. Thank you for attacking me, by the way. That woke me up. <laughs> now we need to uh, heal. Oh, well, I guess we're going to burn another Vigilant card. Hopefully, I don't get killed before I can use it. Come on, Jian. Yeah, we're going to have to do some extra heat saving now. Without the uh, Ice Mongo card. We need to uh, to take extra saves. Oh, it didn't even kill a crystal. Such bad damage rolls. Come on, attack Gabby. I'm afraid to just try to run here. Because we've seen how well that works. <laughs> the only reason I got into this encounter was because of the hiccup. The uh, the pause. That, uh, because from taking the ticking damage. That's the only reason I got into the encounter. Watch us get a card here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Didn't see that coming. <laughs> uh, man, I don't have the healing to burn here. Okay, safety save. If I had magic, I would have just like blew up that encounter, but guess what? I don't get any magic until I blow up the dragon. He has to run away. Not that way. Okay, run away. We're almost, this is a very short dungeon, so we're right here at the boss. Maybe one more dodge. Or it runs away. Okay, so one thing I'm really worried about is the fact that Flora, there's a good chance that Flora's going to die in the first attack. And that, oh wow, my, magic, or my healing drops are so low. Uh, I put the force ring on. So... There is a chance that she's going to die to the red dragon's first attack, and at 76 health, the chance of that happening is pretty good. <laughs> and which stinks because she's my attack buff, and I really can't afford to resurrect her right now. So this fight might go a lot slower. But this is the red dragon, or the dragon dragon. And uh, if you don't get what I mean by that, just wait till you see the white dragon. <laughs> 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 Yeah, the dragons are also well-designed creatures yes. in this game. They have a favorite spirit animal. <laughs> so basically, we go up to him and say, hey, we want to become a dragon master. They're like, we already have one. And we're like, he's evil. And how do we know you won't be evil? And they're like, I'm going to punch you in the face. I'm going to kick you in the face. That's how we're going to prove that I'm not evil. And he's going to be like, like every other dragon. Okay. Okay. <laughs> So, Flora, the damage rolls are, like, anywhere from, like, 64 to 90. So, Flora, please, low row. So, uh, getting into these dragon bosses, we are kind of getting into... <clears throat> mm -hmm. Rip. Wow, that was a high roll. Yeah. Um, but you can kind of stun lock them a little bit if you're lucky. Oh, yeah. So, we're going to get introduced to stagger. Well, not really stagger locking in this case. No. Um... I'm gonna Nam, you know. 
But yeah, if you stagger any of the bosses, uh, they won't attack for that turn that they're staggered, which is really nice. Yeah. So I'm going to use regen here because I don't have the attack buff <laughs> that I normally want for this. You get some good music too, though. You know what? We're just going to go with it. It's not really hard to, to stagger him, but because I don't have the extra damage from attack buff, um, it's going to be a little work, more work. Okay, good. This, so this turn you'll be staggered. And he just lays down because he's tired. Yeah, each one, each, <laughs> each of the bosses has their own uh, staggered animation. <laughs> he's tired. Leave him alone. He's been busy in this cave doing nothing all these years. Hard work to do nothing. So we're hoping for some crits. This is this boss doesn't have a lot of health, but he can still do his AOE attack and blind, which doesn't work because I have 100% hit attack. You know, feels the bub is worth something. Okay, 100% chance to hit blind does nothing. <laughs> Please enjoy the music. It is good music. You know what else we can enjoy? There's a five dollar donation from Neon Gray that says, "Here's five bucks for that sweet ASMR from Vulagen." <laughs> Keep it up. We could use some more air circulation in here. By the way, he defended one turn, but he's dead. He has no health left. I have to do a lot of healing. Now. So the blazing ring that you saw me get—that is our first magic spell. Woo! Yay! Yeah. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Thanks. In order to use it, I need to equip it in my accessory spot. So, if you want to use magic, you can't even put another accessory on. And it costs 10 magic to do it, so I can cast it twice right now. <laughs> nice cool breeze from Bulletin. <laughs> Just like home. The mountains of, <laughs> of Seattle as I'm getting downpoured day in and day out, and the wind howls. Thanks, Wilgen. <laughs> Rip the red dragon. So, this ring is insanely overpowered right now because, uh, yeah, it just is. And we're gonna use it to farm the blue chest in, uh, in the desert so we can get Jiang's second best armor in the game, which ironically protects against fire damage. <laughs> <laughs> you know, red dragon fire damage. I mean, you know, in all fair in all fairness, you know, even in the other lunar games, you do have to take a uh, an inventory slot five. to equip the crests. So, I have an option here. I can take the five encounters or go for more for Flora. And I think I'm just going to take the five. <laughs> so, you're going to notice how... What I want to see is a lot of enemies now. Just pile on the enemies. Just bring it on. Fight me. J please. 400 damage to every enemy. Not bad. <laughs> We need flora levels. So we're going to pull out Gloomwing. Because there's only five in this area. And it's a pretty big area. Uh, we got plenty of time to regen our MP. So we're gonna see, make sure we get everything up here first. Don't you dare run to the quicksand. If you run to the quicksand, you gotta reset the area. Ooh, three enemies. Ooh. Well, the good news is she should still have a halfway decent chance of surviving the White Dragon's first attack. Because it doesn't actually do much more, if any more, than the Red Dragon. And we'll gain probably one or two more levels doing this. Okay, one more up here, most likely. Five. <laughs> Come on, I want to see seven and eight. Lay it on me. Show me your worst. I mean, at, let me go first, though. <laughs> Thanks for the poison. Appreciate it. You asked them to show you? They showed me. Their worst. Their worst. I guess that was their worst. <laughs> Flora thinks it is.
Isn't that the best thing ever? Or the worst thing ever? <laughs> yes. It is definitely one of those two things. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it is a thing that has happened right now. Here's our next termite. And I'm gonna hope that the last one is by the blue chest. Seven enemies! Um num 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 num. See, Jing has enough agility that he should go first most of the time, but there is some variance in speed. It's like every other RPG. They give you a speed stat and then they decide to throw random modifiers into it. <laughs> because why not? I don't know what you're talking about. That totally never happens in other RPGs. So hopefully the last one is hiding up here. No, oh, jeez. Gonna make me go fetch you out. Hopefully I can find you before the timer runs out. There you are. And another six, we'll take it. So I don't think she's gonna get to 14 though. 14 I'd feel much happier with. Usually we want her at least level 15 going into the white dragon. But, uh, well, she did get 14. Yeah, that's some. So we're going to pick up the dragon coat. Notice we're getting all the stuff for Jiang. Don't care about the other two. It's a good thing we didn't equip Lucia. Although she does have all of the best gear in the game inside that cave. Or inside that bridge that we were at. <clears throat> the, the game is a big fan of better late than never. Mm -hmm. So again, no fast travel, so we're gonna walk back to the forest again. <laughs> Game doesn't want you cheating, going fast. That's not what I wanna see. Come on, get up here. There we go. This game almost does everything in it's possible to make you not go fast. Outside of the speed up button. And that is an example of very, very, Short reaction time. So have you got anything else, Palmer? I do. I have a ten dollar donation from Gun Arm Dine. Uh oh. <laughs> hey, you said you weren't gonna be awake for this. <laughs> what about tech next year? <laughs> 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 it says hi spirits. Don't worry too much about Rufus, since it's revealed he's still alive in Advent children. Oh wait, wrong game. <laughs> Probably the same person. I got a $38 donation from Zack Star Wars that says, Did you know the ducks are free? You can go to the park and get one. I have 438 ducks. <laughs> MR ducks. <laughs> AR not. Oh, SAR. We'll not go any further. So we go talk to Titus, Titus, whatever you want to call him real quick. And why do I feel like trying to see if I can get a nice marker card. If I don't have to go all the way. Because <clears throat> it might be a good idea. Just maybe? I might not see them. I can still fail to run away, though, even though this is the first dungeon in the game. Oops. <laughs> that one wasn't out of the way. Well. I know. Come on, come on. Okay, we can do this. Gabby, it's all you. Come on. No more tails. Hashtag, no more tails. We're starting to get soon to the to the dungeons where running is going to be hard. <laughs> hey, we got, want more tails! More gotta, tails! You got a tail just there. Maybe if I start asking for them, I won't get them anymore. <laughs> Sounds legit. <laughs> uh. <laughs> So we get told that the White Dragon Cave is off in this direction. So that's where we're going to go. Time to go to the White Dragon Cave and totally not do any backtracking. Ah. And it gives everyone a chance to, to get some more blowing in. Do do. I think we've seen this area before. The only thing is we haven't seen this area over here. 
So over here is the White Dragon Cave, and uh, it's time for a story. A very, very random story that they add to the game. Probably the only creative moment that they had, although it's still not a great story. So we come to the White Dragon Lair, and it's sealed, and... <clears throat> Well, this thing is here, and, well, we decided to get told a story about a giant who wanted to rule the world. And he goes to the goddess Elthina and says, and she says, fine then, build me a hundred steps in one night, and I will give you what you desire. And he builds the steps. But the humans living nearby were scared of the power, so they went and stole a brick, one of the steps. And then the goddess, like, ha ha ha, and punished him and the giant and he never got his wish and then this is the one step and apparently there's a sign on it that says do not touch so we decide in our infinite vis wisdom that the hundred steps was delrig temple and we're gonna pick this up and put it back there and that must be the trial makes sense i don't know why they told us the story there's no reason to tell us the story Well, I got a story for you, High Spirits. Ow. Yes, you do. The Tass bot plays Final Fantasy IV. Final Fantasy with four white mages has officially been met. Awesome. Woo. Good job, That's everyone. Awesome. That's good, because I don't think they did four fighters. I think they were praying, hoping that that incentive got met. Well, it has, so we will never know. Uh, but there are still some amazing incentives left. Uh, there are a handful of Earthlock incentives, which I might be a little biased, but I would... Never heard of it. I would love to see those incentives get met. You can also decide on the music in the next game, The World Ends With You, uh, that will be happening here in a little over two hours. Uh, you can either do the original or the final mix, uh, so get those donations in while you guys have the opportunity. So we're just going to make a quick chop over the Delrig Temple. I think I'm getting tired of fighting these enemies. Because we're never going to get anything other than tails. <laughs> I think I should reside to the fact that I'm stuck collecting tails. I mean, if one chases me and I don't have to go out of the way for it, you know. We're going to run from it. Maybe. <laughs> yes, I did fail to run from one of these counters just a moment ago. Mm -hmm. Doesn't matter what level you are. Game cares not for your speed. Game doesn't care for a lot of things that make sense. <laughs> so we're going to climb these steps because apparently there's a hundred here. I do not know if that's true. I never bothered counting. But it doesn't seem like there's a hundred, although there it could be. There's a lot here. And there's our leftover brick. <laughs> so obviously we opened the path to the white dragon, right? Because we picked a random story out of our head and decided to make up the result and put the brick here. It's a good story. Yeah. Top notch. So the good, I'm going to keep the blazing ring on me as I go through this next dungeon in case I do get into an encounter because there are, you know, going to be a lot of tight areas again. Um, I can just kill the enemies and hey, it's more experience for Flora at the same time. But now, now we got to backtrack. All the way to the White Dragon Cave. <laughs> Good run, Muck. Well, keep in mind, the enemies are scaling with me. <laughs> Even so, it's still Thank amusing. <laughs> they're not scaling very well, these early enemies, but they're still scaling. I don't know why that slime is enjoying with that tree. It's attached. It's a nice tree. So yeah, we gotta stop and heal because lose all of our health running. <laughs> that really is one of the worst mechanics uh, about this game. I know, it's just, seriously. Why? <laughs> it makes the speedrun look bad because you got to heal all the time. When you're doing a speedrun, you're not supposed to stop and heal. You're supposed to just go. 
Yeah, that's the part that makes the speedrun look bad. I know. <laughs> 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 so we come here and hey, look, the door is open. Obviously, our plan worked. <laughs> So the White Dragon Cave's gimmick is falling icicles that stun you if they hit you. It's not a long dungeon, and the only thing you have to remember is don't go upstairs. See the stairs? Don't go up them. Oh, that was close. Jeez, everything's chasing me. Uh, can you come down? <laughs> ah, that would not come down. The good news is we still have a very overpowered ring. Bad news is I got a bad damage pull. These things have a lot of health too. Oh well, we're gonna get to that level 15 floor uh, if we're unlucky. I think one more fight is enough experience. I think it's like 25,000. I don't have all of the experience totals uh, past the early game memorized because I never really care that much about the experience totals later. Yeah, especially since so much of the grinding is forced anyway. Yeah. It doesn't really make a difference whether you gain or not. Yeah, and it's not that important. It's just, it's nice to try to get uh, as far as you can uh, on Ice Mongrels, but guess what? We're not in item collection mode. <laughs> but yeah, it's uh, when you get to this part, the levels aren't as important, it's just slightly more insurance for Flora surviving early attacks. Jian and Gabri don't matter, because they're always going to have enough health. Okay, well that's my last one, but we're almost at the end of the dungeon. Yep, she got the 15. She should easily survive the White Dragon's first attack with health to spare. But let's not get any more encounters, please. And of course, there's no one more chasing me. Oop. Come on, get up here. Give me something good here. Here we go. Okay, the white dragon. So we want to put our forest ring back on because it allows me to do more damage. So remember how we had red dragon? I'll just pause right here, yeah. By the way, say hi to Tiger Dragon. It's, we had Dragon Dragon, now we have Tiger Dragon. Oh, good. I'm we are just up. briefly going to drop the stream for a second in order to deal with some technical issues and we will be right back so make sure you guys s keep on refreshing <laughs> the couch just ran off. <laughs> Vulgin, you're on the couch now. Man, look at this. Vulgin's keeping me awake all even longer tonight. Such a jerk. You see, I'm putting myself through, and now he's making it worse. <laughs> it's all right. Everyone here is getting put through this.
Gonna come back and see no couch. <laughs> <laughs> we are back with High Spirits and Lunar Dragon Song. If you're just now joining us, you were in for a treat. High Spirits, take it away. What happened to my couch? We couldn't take it anymore. Okay, can we restart? Okay, three, two, one, mash. Because that's all I'm doing. <laughs> Okay, so this is, remember how we had Dragon Dragon earlier? This is now Tiger Dragon. Um, and he says, oh, you passed my trial. We ask him, what's the trial? He says, you touched the block that said do not touch. So we did all of that other stuff for no reason? Yep. We're going to fight now. <laughs> so, you know, to prove I'm, you know, I'm good. And yeah, Ignatius is evil, yada, yada, yada. Hey, I got a half a couch. Say, Transqueena, everyone, the one hiding behind me that none of you can see. Okay, that you can see is orange shorts. <laughs> There's a lot of talking. He's long-winded. Okay, so this fight is um, not any different than the Red Dragon. Uh, he is very easy to stagger, and we should keep him... Stagger locked most, if not the entire fight, once we throw up our cards. Uh, his stagger point is really low. And oh yeah, we're trying to profess that we love. Oh, thanks. Someone came back. <laughs> Oops, I used the wrong card. Vitra. That looks just like a dragon. Yeah, it's Tiger Dragon. See, his attack isn't anywhere near as devastating. So we're just gonna, oh. We're just going to wreck him. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, he might not get an attack off the rest of the fight. <laughs> Look at Flora. It looks like she wants to punch it, but she has a bow. She has her fifth sub. It might get an attack off here. It didn't quite do enough damage. Oh, it got an attack off. Wah, wah, wah. Oh, well. Bye-bye. So, everyone have a good time? Yeah, yeah sure. Mm. Wasn't you bad. Know, you're staggering the, the tiger He's dragon. tired. He's just taking a nap. <laughs> he got back We're up. all tired. It's the middle of the night. Uh, no, it isn't. Not, not anymore. No, not the middle of the night anymore. <laughs> Flora with the kill. Yes. And we got a Lucia card. No, Lucia. I need you back. <laughs> Why would you depress me by giving me my girlfriend's card? <laughs> okay, well, we got the white dragon. We got the gal ring, which is... Dun, 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 exactly like the blazing ring, except for a different elemental. I wonder what it does. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm not going to answer that. So we're actually going to equip the blazing ring... And uh, we're going to get out of here. So this is the one time in the game where you're required to party talk. Yes, there is actually party talk. On the bottom screen, if you see the two faces talking to each other, that means they have your party has something to talk to you about. Usually it's nothing. But this part is required in order to get to where the blue and black dragon is on a different continent. Oops. It didn't take my... In there we go. <laughs> yee. Goodbye. And, uh, yeah, so we need to go through the East and West Myriad Caves in order to, uh, to make it to where the Black Dragon is, our next targets. And, uh, they're really long caves, but one of the caves has a blue chest that we want to farm for XP's and for Gabby's second best weapon in the game. And, uh, yeah, second best everything. The reason why they're all second best is because later dungeons have the best. <laughs> It's too early in the game to have the second, you know, first best stuff. Although it's Lunar Dragon Song, they can find a way to screw it up. 
<laughs> okay, let's go to the caves. I'm gonna have to hit the statue. Uh, before I grind the last room, no matter how many encounters are in it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the last room, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna farm five encounters there. Blazing ring will almost always one shot everything. There's some things that can survive based on or and some things that can die, you know, survive if I get a bad damage roll. But Gabby will be able to do some AoE to help finish him off too. Six enemies, so that's fine. We want to reset it to five. But we're gonna head out because the start of the next cave has a healing statue. Uh Maybe. <laughs> if, if this thing wants to let you buy. <laughs> you just have to watch it's moving because they always wobble. So you can kind of sneak in there, but sometimes they un wobble unpredictably. So we'll get our magic back. And uh, we want five encounters here now. That's not five. That's even farther than five. So one in three chance, so we've gotten pretty lucky so far, so getting stuck up is a little bit... Okay, there we go. This is the last blue chest we are going to grind the rest of the game. So say goodbye to the blue chests after this. We got lots of MP restoring items right now because we've had five encounters in every zone, so that saved me a lot of magic and time. So we are looking at Flora a couple of levels here because she still we need her to try to survive the uh, first attack of the black dragon, and it's not easy. <laughs> We're even going to give her some armor to help her out, but she can still take uh, upwards into the teen one teens. Yes, lots of enemies. Lots of enemies means more experience. So I'm not really worried about the level scaling right now uh, because we just because we uh, uh, scale out scale them so much better than they do me. Flora agrees. So this area also has water, which can actually cause issues because. Sometimes the enemies like running away from you as you've seen and they can run onto the water and uh, You kind of have to finagle them off of the water in order to uh, into actually being able to hit them farm the last two here. So did you got anything come in, Palmer? Yes, sir. I got a $10 anonymous doma donation, donation with no comment. Thank you so much for donating. I have a $10 donation from Oak Hates Sean that says, first time ever watching, really enjoying it. Keep up the great work. I have a $50 donation from Just Joe that says, thanks for putting on this marathon for charity. Y'all are great people doing a great thing. Please keep it going. And to further that point, I just want to remind you guys, if you're just now tuning in, or you forgot, this is RPG Limit Break 2019. We are sponsored by Twitch. We're coming to you from Salt Lake City, Utah, and raising money for NAMI. NAMI is the National Alliance on Mental Illness, which was formed in 1979 as a grassroots advocacy organization by a group of parents whose children suffered with serious mental illnesses, and NAMI have maintained that focus to this day. Oh yeah, thank you all very much for all the donations. For being here watching this game. <laughs> I got nothing else there. Well, I got something for you. I got a $10 donation from Xcodes that says, I thought you were fixing some technical issues, but I can still clearly see <laughs> Lunar Dragon Song being played on stream. Good luck with the rest of the run, Ice Spirits. It's hopefully almost over. Thanks. Maybe. Dang technical issues. Oh, Xcodes. <laughs> Bye, blue chest. Bye, blue chest. Yeah, that's the last blue chest. 
Okay, so we got Gabby's second best weapon in the game. Now we're just gonna run through this dungeon very, very... Carefully. Potentially carefully. If they let me. Yes, run away. That's what we want to see. Be afraid. Be very af I am afraid. I don't have the Ice Mongrel card, so I'm kind of like paranoid in some areas. Although this area I can pretty I can run away from. Once we start getting to like Blue Dragon Cave and Megrid Ocean Lab, that's uh, terrifying. Yeah. <laughs> like we gotta save. Long, windy, last room. But there's lots of enemies. There's seven about, I believe, I looked. Yeah. I'm trying to be careful, gotta look and like make sure I'm not getting bombarded by an enemy chasing me. <laughs> Very long room. Yeah, the Myriad Cave is uh, no kinder in this game than the Myriad Forest is in the other game. Oh, there we go. So we want to go to the armor shop. And we need to buy some armor for Flora. It actually raises her attack power too. <laughs> like she really needs that. <laughs> No, it's just for the protection. It's the best protection I can really get her right now. Or the rest of the game. She didn't get the dragon coat. Battle dress. And we're going to stock up on some more healing items. I think I'm going to be a little cautious and get uh, another one of these. Although I really don't need 61. I probably could afford another angel tier. Just in case I need to resurrect again. Oh. That's where we go. We don't want to go. We don't want to go to Gads. We don't want to do package deliveries. So in order to progress here, we gotta go to a random person in the back of the inn. <laughs> and uh, he tells me about the photon plant. Which allows you to see inside the black dragon cave. And you're supposed to pick it and use it to get through the black dragon cave. But we're just... You don't have to. I don't even think it's implemented, to be honest. We're just going to walk into the cave and we're going to be able to see where we're going. Yep. Basically. It, it's, it's limited sight and it has holes. So if you go the wrong way, you'll, you can fall down a hole and have to do the dungeon over again. But it's pretty much just one giant room. Okay, Valianeza. This could be a frustrating place because there's a lot of tight passageways and there can be a lot of enemies chasing you like that guy right there we're gonna try to bring him down thankfully the ai is as dumb as jang <laughs> oh that's not good uh there we go do some jukes there's seven enemies in this area and they're all chasing me uh-oh uh -oh. There, there we go Okay, get over here, get over here. Oh, got it. My spirit says have some very impressive jukes as he runs from things in Lunar games. The worst thing is that last spot right there, because if it runs away from you, it just runs into the path, into the uh, exit, and you're stuck, like, fighting it. <laughs> but seriously, like, if you've never seen him run any of the other Lunar games, uh, some of those, some of those jukes are very impressive. So how do you like the music? Valium Desert music is really good. Don't worry, it won't be for long. Mm, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it will be back. Yeah, okay. yeah, cause backtracking is totally not a thing in this game. No, never, <laughs> no, never fast, no fast travel. No. <laughs> so yeah, this dungeon has very limited sight and, um, again, uh, fall through holes. They're they're very easy to see, but if you're not really paying attention, you can easily fall down them if you go the wrong way. So funny thing is, you see that big hole right here that I'm running up against? Can't fall down that, but the tiny little hole, like right over there, <laughs> you're gonna fall down. But like, it's illuminating at least 
like half the screen anyway. <laughs> yeah, I mean you got a lot of sight. Although they can still, especially if you're going north, they can sneak still sneak up on you because you're very close to the top of the screen. And it's just one giant room. Because we're almost done with the dungeon already. Yeah, the, the water dragon cave is where it's going to start to get a little bit more dicey because there's a different mechanic there, which is a pain in the butt. Yeah, this can go horribly wrong. So you got force ring. Oh, and I hope you, like, borrow things from other game series. No, there's nothing in this game that's borrowed. <laughs> okay, so we had ti Dragon Dragon. We had Tiger Dragon. Now... Da, da, da. He's very slow, by the way. <laughs> you did da, 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 at the wrong time. <laughs> and dramatic pause. Invisible Dragon. Yes. <laughs> no, this is Turtle Dragon. So this guy actually does a ton of damage, but he doesn't have much health. So there is still a chance Flora will die to the first attack, even with armor and as much health. Um, so we're going to see how this goes. No poison. We really don't want her to die because we want the attack buff. So You're attacking that poor dragon. She's no, it's a turtle. Amazing. Okay, good. Really low damage roll. <laughs> So this boss is insanely hard to stagger. You have to have some really seriously high attack power to pull it off. So we're not even gonna bother with the stagger. Basically, we're just gonna try to beat it down as fast as possible. So this boss also has a gimmick, but you're gonna have to wait a minute before you see the real gimmick of this fight. Okay, that's fine. Cool, we can finish him off. Hopefully before he attacks. That's a Negaturino. Thanks, Jiang. Nice double miss find that Flora went down here because after you beat Dragon Turtle you fight Dark Jiang. Dark Jiang copies what Jiang does. So if I don't attack he's not going to attack. So what we want him to do is we want him to target everyone other than Jiang because he hurts. Again, totally not a borrowed mechanic. Absolutely not. Ever in any other game that exists. That's not true. I've seen it in other games. Nice. <laughs> you know what, Wells? Well, <laughs> you know what? <laughs> nice. Being able to get a few rounds in. Ooh, nice crit. Man, I could go for the kill here if uh, I had faith that I would go first. So I'll heal, so he's going to heal a little bit too. But as you can see, he hurts. As you can see, he didn't go first anyway. So. And that's the Black Dragon fight. And we got the useless Earthly Ring. Just like every other ring. So Black Dragon says he's the evil dragon. He even tells you, I said, I'm the evil dragon. <laughs> like, thanks. Coming just coming out and saying it. <sighs> and now we have three dragons in our party. So now we gotta get to the blue dragon. Uh shoot, I can't heal. I'm sure this will be the easiest dungeon to get through. It will be, because I'm going to cast Escape. Bam! That was difficult. Yeah, the Blue Dragon dungeon. 
Well, it's gonna be scary if I get into an encounter, because that's the dungeon where running from encounters starts to get insanely hard. Nah, I might have been able to do that if I was at a better angle. So when we go into this next room, there's a chance I won't be able to dodge this first enemy. We'll see if it's chasing me. Chasing me, and nope. Gonna get around it. <laughs> that was the very lucky run. I don't know if it was very lucky. It was only four enemies. Even so. The enemies here hit pretty hard. Yeah. But yeah, you, that was a case of just, you got the unlucky roll there. It can, it, that can be insanely hard to dodge. If... There's a slime especially waiting for you outside that door. So now we get to treat everyone to my favorite, I Bleed Forest. <laughs> that was, I don't know what you're talking about. That's the best rain I have ever seen, ever. This is some, this is a quality rainforest. <laughs> And if you didn't get enough of that there, don't worry, there's plenty of rainforest to come. Are you saying we backtrack a little bit through there? Just a little. So we're getting information about how to get through the Blue Dragon Cave, that there's three treasures that you have to grab, aka buttons, that you have to press in order to advance to the boss. And yeah, we need to go through I Bleed Forest again. Although now we're gonna start to go to the harder section. Uh, this area here is really tricky because uh, there's um, the next room has a lot of forest canopy and it can be hard to see where enemies are hiding. So we're going to see if we get lucky or if I can spot the enemies going through here. Some of them are just impossible to see. Oh, nice. Okay, let's see if we can do this. Let's see if we can do it. Ready? Ready? Come on. You can do it. There we go. I walked out of bounds. So they forgot to program this exit properly. So if you go out the right side here, you just walk out of bounds. <laughs> so you gotta go out the left side of that exit. <laughs> Mostly well-programmed game when it comes to a technical, so. But, oops, they forgot an exit. <laughs> so yeah, there's, a, there's no collision, no wall, or no exit in, like, in the right side of that, that one specific one. And uh, you can just walk out of bounds. <laughs> So yeah, I spoke of the gimmick of this area. It's uh, three buttons you gotta press. But there's also a very, very important item in here. Uh, you notice how magic costs like an arm and a leg to cast? Well, not anymore. Thanks to this handy dandy magic booster, Flora can now cast spells at one third of the amount. So suddenly all of her spell, her heal spell doesn't cost 10 anymore, it costs three. <laughs> And there's other assorted spells. So she basically has infinite magic now. Okay, we need to do a save because we're now getting to the point where random encounters are going to be very hard to run from and we are not going to be able to run away with a bunch of ice mongrel tails. <laughs> ah, I couldn't get by. Cool, first try. Okay, room number one. Basically, we're gonna see what the room looks like, oh, and leave if we don't like it. Uh, nope. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> uh, this is better. Only one chaser. <laughs> you just gotta be patient, bide your time, and, and look for the opening. And there's three of these rooms we gotta do it for. Plus all of these areas here where we gotta walk through these tight corridors with enemies chasing you. Okay, next. Uh, nah. I was like looking to see if there's anything else coming, then two more came. I'm like, nope. Uh duh. Nah. I don't want two or, or three chasing me. 
Because then I can't get to the button usually. Unless they're up there and that guy moves out of the way. Just like that. Okay, two buttons pressed. So that's a stone flower down there. That looks kind of nice, doesn't it? Yeah. Obviously, I'm not pointing it out for any reason. Uh, nope. I don't like you down there. Go somewhere else. <laughs> like, out of my path. Okay, last button that we gotta press. And, uh, that's fine. <laughs> so now we can head to the blue dragon, which, of course, has a gimmick. Blue Dragon can be one of the hardest fights. Oh, I don't want that. I'm just gonna reset it. Can be one of the the hard, could be the hardest dragon. Um, but some of it is based off of your party helping you out. <laughs> like turn orders. Oh. there but that's fine taking things slightly more cautiously because of the fact that I can't guarantee escape okay so we got the blue dragon now and there's another two-part fight two-part a gimmick fight This is the last dragon, though. Once we do this, we're a dragon master, right? So we had dragon dragon, tiger dragon, turtle dragon, and now we have... Water. <laughs> nope, we have... Come on, you can do it. Snack dragon! Yeah, but at least that one kind of looks like it could be a dragon. It looks evil. More evil than the black dragon. Look at those eyes and that teeth. That is pure evil right there. It's so cute. It's a puppy. Okay, so this fight, phase one is 1v1. And uh, basically, it's either going to go third turn, three turns or Jiang dies. If we get lucky, we can go three turns and Jiang doesn't die. And I got some health going into phase two. Or he summons the bubbles in the first turn and I just admit, admit defeat. And we go into phase two with no health. So we're going to see if we can pull off a heal. And he summoned bubbles. So yeah, admit defeat. Bubbles deal a lot of damage. <laughs> Those things hurt. <laughs> 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 so yeah <laughs> so now we're going to start phase 2 with Jiying at no health so what we want to see in phase 2 is him summon bubbles in the first turn or not attack Jiying that would be nice too because he's going to start the fight with one health and basically what we're going to need we're going to need Gabby to destroy the bubbles and then Jiying to attack the snack but obviously that's never going to happen Jiying's always going to attack first and uh, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know how you held back this long. Yes, we got bubbles. Oh, Gabby went. You know, well, yeah, he's gonna heal anyway. So, yeah. Um, Jiang's AI is dumb, so he'll attack the bubbles before he attacks the snack most of the time. So, we need Gabby to go first and take those out. Or we just need no uh, bubbles at all. And this boss can be fairly easily staggered. Although he will get attacks off because he has a lot of health. And Jin can't hit. So we're just going to keep Gal cutting. Nice. Even versus works. And there's a stagger. Sure, breathe. Give him a fan. You know, he looks he looks like he's overheating. Dang, stop missing. Nice crit. Flora's almost dealing as much damage as you. 
so those mental drops that I got, well, this is where we need to start using them. To get Gabby back some magic. And she went before the dragon, which stinks because I might get blown up by the... Dang, we hit something. I might get blown up by the bubbles. Wow, his accuracy right now. I mean, <laughs> at least he still killed a rubble? That's something? No, it's not. <laughs> I'm sorry, I've tried. <laughs> His accuracy could be worse. No, he can't. He hit at least one. He did, he did. Yes, Gabby went first. This might be the next dagger. We don't poison here because we don't have the poison for it. And it's not really necessary for this fight anyway. Not really. No. No, we need you to heal. Crit, miss. <laughs> that equaled out to <laughs> average. Whiff. Whiff. <laughs> Whiff. <laughs> <laughs> At least Laura can hit something. Shifting this boss down. With every turn. There we go. Snack a dragon down. And now we have all four dragons. You know what that means? nothing because we don't have a way to get to the frontier yep well we do but it's really far away and we uh suddenly are in a hurry to get to uh the cathedral of Elthina, which is where ignatius has the goddess and is about to take over the world so we must get there in a hurry how do we get there in a hurry a hot air balloon <laughs> so we got to go back to town to figure out how and who makes this hot air balloon for us to get around. <laughs> Which means a lot more backtracking, by the way. Yeah. I hope you enjoyed yep. I Bleed Forest, because you're going to see it again. And again, and, and again, again, and, and again. again. Yes, yes. The water effects are so glorious. Bomber, you can take it away. Yes, sir. We have a $100 donation from Death Zero. It says, had to donate during my boy High Spirits' run. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll, I'll also leave the donation incentive of choice up to Palmer, only because I know he wouldn't put it towards some weird bias of his like the Earthlock incentives. <laughs> Palmer, I you, trust you. You know him so well. <coughs> and uh, I will be putting that towards the Earthlock fight Mushriga <laughs> incentive. <laughs> your trust was misplaced, my friend, but thank you so much for your donation. I have a $25 anonymous donation that says, Donating for a great cause. Thanks to all of the community members and participants that make this event a success. And on that note, I would like to thank a pair of artists that deserve a special thanks that worked on our overlays, Oru and Namux. They can be found on Twitter at, at Orolin, that is O-U-R-O-L-E-N, and at Namix at at N-A-M-U-X underscore respectively. Thank you guys so much. Okay, so we come back to rubric here real quick. We need to talk to a couple of people. One, we talk to someone who says, hey, there's a guy in a nearby tower who's making a flying machine. Okay, and then the second person tells me about these stone flowers. Yes, stone flowers that can, levita that can make something levitate. And guess where the stone flowers are? can't possibly imagine after you purposely pointed them out. Maybe I didn't purposely. Maybe I accidentally pointed out. Back in the Red Dragon's cave? Yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, so we're not done with this section. <laughs> no, we won't be for quite a while. Too many enemies. Let's not walk out of bounds there because something's chasing me. Because <laughs> they will chase you right up to the border and, and you won't be able to get out of, you know, back in bounds without fighting. So 
yeah, we got to make another quick trip into here uh, to uh, to get our stone flowers. Because apparently that's how you make something fly. Well, when I think of flying and being in the air, I always think of heavy stones. Stone flowers. It's not just any stone. It's a bouquet of, le of levitation. <laughs> well, it could be a float stone. No, it's a levitation stone. That's the name of it. Levitation. This game isn't creative, remember? Literally called it the levitation stone. Here's our flower. I, I don't know why floatstone is more creative, but okay. <laughs> Everyone's so sm All the girls are smiling in the bottom picture, and Jiang's like, so serious. <laughs> Chat seems to be still coming to terms with the fact that you lose damage when you run. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me, we are too. <laughs> They're not the only ones. <laughs> okay, last time I have to go through this painful section of forest. Nope. You got into an encounter. <laughs> I did that. Oops. I don't have my ring equipped. Thankfully, this is not a high damage, so it's just a matter of when I can get out. But we're, we're at the point where it's hard to run from enemies. Can't get over losing health when you run. <laughs> How you do? How's the crowd doing with blowing into my DS? I'll ask him. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> hey, we got away. Can I dash? Don't no, I can't dash. Push the ring. <laughs> Don't forget to equip the sword. Uh, yeah, I can't even see if it's hiding in some of these trees. There we go. <laughs> Getting pretty mixed reviews, but the general consensus seems to be that uh, it's, they're not a fan. That guy was hiding in the tree. I can't imagine why they wouldn't be a fan of that. I think that they hurt for you. Okay, here's a question for the for the for the people at home watching. Okay. Uh, okay. There we go. Sorry, I'm trying to do something. <laughs> the question is, how many of you? can think of something watching this run that doesn't stink or is not dumb. So are you asking... I'm asking who in the audience can find can point out something in this game that isn't dumb. You heard the man chat? Let us know what you think. Or even what your favorite parts of the game are, good or bad. Well, please, let's not go that far. <laughs> let's baby steps, you know? <laughs> we gotta start small and build up from there. <laughs> well, well, I mean, we do have the biggest bright side, that the run makes this game much faster to get through yeah, it. This game's a much better game to play when you speedrun it. It is, you, it really is. Because you actually skip the worst parts of the game. When you get to the best part much quicker, which is <laughs> the credits. Yeah. So this is Careless's tower, and this is Careless, and he has a flying machine. And he's going to show it to us. And then he's going to tell us, I need another levitation stone in order to get this. Look at that face on that thing. And uh, no, not your face, Casa. <laughs> 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 Don't give me that look over there. Oh, great. He's going to write something on the board. <laughs> you know I'm in trouble when something's getting written on the board. Are you ready for some answers, High Spirits? Uh, well, let me finish this real quick. We are told to go to the Negri Med uh, Submarine Lab. In a, thank you. In order to uh, <laughs> to get a levitation stone, and uh, so we're gonna have to do some more backtracking. Okay, answer. The first one uh, says that the trees look like trees. <laughs> <laughs> Got me there. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, there's one that says the dragons weren't complete trash. <laughs> Most of them seem to be... One of them looked like a dragon. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, no microtransactions. Oh, yeah, yeah. No gachas either. Oh, wait, when you play this game, it's a gacha. Yeah, someone gotcha to get into this, so... <laughs> 
Okay, so we got a couple positives. I mean, the good positives. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna hide now. <laughs> I could definitely play, see playing a game like this with those positives. I could see the ability to buy cards that you couldn't farm up. <laughs> Don't give them hints. <laughs> <laughs> The, the fact that the trees look like trees, I think, was my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was so good. Whoever got that got, gets a gold star. Congratulations. Someone should donate to Nami in their honor. <laughs> okay, so we got to go back to this, era, this continent to get to the Negri Ocean Lab. And this is what we call Backtrack Dungeon. And we're gonna save because running is getting really hard right about now. And there's a reason why we call this a backtrack dungeon. Well, because we're gonna start off by going right. If I can get all these things to stop chasing me. So we go right. And oh yeah, this has <laughs> crushing me in the head with blocks. Uh, nope. Okay, so we decide after going right that we don't like right, that we want to go left. Also, the, the music here is kicking. Yeah, and at least if, if stuff is going to fall on your head while you're trying to hit levers, the music should be good. Yep, and after going left, we decide that left is no fun. We're going to go team right. So we're going to go back to the right. And we're going to skip the puddle, get crushed. And then we're going to come in here and we're going to decide team right. That's for losers. We're going team left. So now we're going to go back to the left side. <laughs> there could be a couple tricky dodges here, depending on what I get. Easy. <laughs> there we go. They just parted the Z's for me. Backtrack dungeon, everyone. Such great design. It's nothing like uh, padding out a dungeon by having to go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. Yeah. So we got one more trek through I Bleed Forest, and then we get fast travel. So we can fast travel to the final dungeon in the game. Because <laughs> why would they give you the ability to fast travel before going to the final dungeon? Doesn't make sense. Not in this game. We would miss all that fantastic backtrack. <laughs> so head back to the Noah piece area. Hit our last statue. And uh, yeah. <laughs> Get ready for the uh, final area. <laughs> So the ending of this game is very special, but by the way, it's going to take us a while to get there because um, this game has forced level grinding at the end game. Uh, again, that fantastic dungeon padding designs. I know. So yeah, we'll get to that. We'll, we'll describe. we got to deal with a boss before we do that, though, which without being able to nerf his abilities, so that actually might be a difficult boss. Even the Enigma card won't do it. Well, no, and he, the first boss is not intelligence based. Oh. The last two bosses are. Yeah, I don't remember because I think I had both cards the last time I yeah. did this. It's been a while actually since I've had to do a run where I didn't have Dwager. Woohoo! Goodbye, I bleed forest. You are gone forever. Unless I crash line a balloon in there. Well, we're not letting Jessica drive, so we're good. I could do it myself. <laughs> Don't need your help to crash land a balloon. So yeah, now we have the balloon. You can go to any area in the game that you want as fast as you want. <laughs> so, you know, in case you want to go back and explore the game. <laughs> this is for those really determined people who are playing this casually made it to this point but probably broke some gear and actually want more 
Hey, gotta gotta collect all the cards. Gotta get some new cards. You probably uh, broke them all by now. Yeah, that's Isn't, also a thing. This is beautiful music, rip. Okay, so you might remember this place. It was one of those dungeons that, you know, we came to. <laughs> it was a thing we did. Ignatius's castle. Well, while you traverse these uh, these floors here, you got some time for some donations? Go ahead, you got a minute. We have a $2 anonymous donation that says, Shout out to the sea dragon for being the water dragon in this game. <laughs> RPG limit break rules. Thanks for raising money for a great cause by playing great games with great speed. <laughs> Wait, great g game? <laughs> we got a $100 donation from Hank that says, Wee! Wee! Okay, so here's the next boss. He might look familiar, because we may have seen him earlier. <laughs> Didn't look familiar. Say hello to Gideon, the guy who ate Rufus. <laughs> and Jiang decides to take Rufus's sword and throw it in Gideon's head. And then Gideon decides to take the sword out, and now he's going to pummel me to death with it. This is why he's not intelligence-based. Because he has a sword. So this fight might be a little scary. Thankfully he doesn't have too much health. But we also get some kicking music. So we're going to have to shriek. No, we, don't, we can't shriek in this one. Instead we're going to Namiya. We want the safety. Because this guy hurts. <laughs> if he does, uh, if he wants to. Put you to sleep. He only has about 2,500 health. Miss. Well, if he keeps missing, this will be free. See, Gabby can start to do some damage. Second best weapon in the game for her. Yeah, it's it gets really scary if Jane goes to sleep. And the other two, they're targets. I like that he has the sword. He swings it. By the way, but it sounds like a like a bat hitting you over the head. By the way, remember this character model. We 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 we, we did. Besides the six other times you've seen it so far. <laughs> Sleep and death. Allie. He doesn't have much health left. But yeah, we still have to kill him. Don't die. Okay, good. Although Jiang still needs to not get attacked here. Okay, good. We should be fine though. We're not fine. We're not fine. Okay. We're fine. We're fine. <laughs> We're back to being fine, y'all. False alarm. Actually, he could still die, but don't sleep. Oh wow. Dang. He one shot me. Okay. We're we're back in panic mode now. This is going so bad. This keeps destroying things. Well, I can't resurrect anymore. Don't die. Don't sleep. Okay. Yeah, me. There we go. Yeah, that's scary without being able to nerf. Uh, okay, so... 
Who likes grinding? Everybody. What are you talking about? Who wouldn't like grinding? Especially when it's forced. It depends. Uh, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> so, in order to get to Ignatius's lair, unlock that portal there, we need to be go into four zones and clear out all the enemies inside it. <laughs> and it can be between five and seven each zone. So, first zone is five. Nice start. So we are going to go in and we are just going to AOE and grind levels. There are good encounters, there are bad. Like this one is actually not too bad. I might be able to one round it. And we're going to do this for between 20 and 27 uh, encounters, depending on, uh, you know, if I get 5, 6, or 7 in every zone. So Palmer, if you want to talk for a minute. Ah, uh, you know I love talking, my friend. I know. <laughs> I have a $7 donation from Benimation that says, My favorite part about this run is that I'm still laughing at Palmer bringing up the Texas Hammer two runs ago. <laughs> I have a $10 donation from Dryad that says, I like that, I like that the trees look like trees person style. <laughs> donation goes to RPG Chick's Choice because she's wearing a cool shirt. Uh, actually, we'll have to look at that again then. Now that the task bot has been fulfilled. It has, in fact, been filled. But we do have some amazing incentives coming up. Uh, there are a few Earthlock incentives, as well as some Bid Wars. Uh, that includes The World Ends With You, which is the game coming up next, as well as Paper Mario Determining Stanley's Fate, which uh, is almost tied, less than a $5 difference for Don't Save or Save Stanley. So if you guys want to have some say, in this man's life, make sure you get those donations in while you still have the chance. Oh, wrong way. So yeah, we're so far we got some um, some pretty good fights, and the by the way the levels no longer matter. Um, remember how I said uh, enemies or enemies and bosses scale to your level? Well, the only, the one decent thing this game had was. They give you all of this forced grinding, but the last bosses don't actually scale to your level. They're set. So that's like the one decent thing that this game did. <laughs> they don't like force you to grind a bunch of levels and then get blown up because you just let the boss get a heck of a lot stronger than you. <laughs> and we still got some bosses left. We got a, we got a little bit of a boss rush that we got to do after we uh, clear out all of these enemies. Well, it sounded like Fulton was blowing in the mic again, but nope, he's gone. Yeah. <laughs> so the Dwager there is the worst enemy to see. I blame Wells. I do too. <laughs> so the Dwager there is the worst enemy because he has the most health. And he has a lot of health. He has like 500 health. Kill it. Nice. The only way to kill it is Jiang here. Like, Gabby can't even do enough damage, especially at this level. And Jian can't either. <laughs> but that is definitely the one thing that we don't want to see. And we're going to get everyone to mid-20s, most likely. Maybe not as high if we get all fives in every zone, which won't happen. But, hey, you got to believe that it won't. But you got to have faith. How about that? I so think Faith throughout went out the window when you got your 15th Ice Mongrel tail. <laughs> I wonder how many I have. <laughs> Where the heck are they? So yeah, this area is just like little pockets. You just gotta go up and down the pockets. Okay, I'm curious now. <laughs> I know, he wants to know how many he has. Shoot, uh, natural? No. no. I can't remember which one it is. Life. There we go. We got 10! 10. 10 Ice Mongrel tails. Although I could have came in a venue later, but oh well. I really would have figured it was more than that, to be honest. No, nope, only ten. I'm disappointed in the lack of ice mongrel tails now. Yeah. Ten tails. Can farm some more? Ten tails and zero cards. Thankfully, we don't need the cards anymore because we don't want to run from these fights. Flora. 
Okay, so this is area one, nice and fast. And, uh... Yeah, nice and fast. <laughs> and only five encounters. So you can open up that chest right there and get some more collectible cards. Yawn. That's your prize for finishing a zone. And we're gonna gloom wing it up here. So generous of them, I mean. I know. And for those of you who weren't here earlier, you saw how slow I went through that menu. That's pretty much as fast as I can go through that menu. The menu lag in this game is insanely bad. And uh, you have a quarter to a half second delay with every input. <coughs> okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. And we got six. We'll take six. That's not Six awful. is average. Yeah. But we start off with a Dwager, though. No, don't do that. Actually, the guy up top also takes two rounds to kill, so what we need is... Hopefully you can kill the Enigma here, too. We need Jiang to attack the left, and we need Gabby to attack the right. That would be optimal. Otherwise, it's gonna be a three-round fight. Ow. Okay, good. I mean, it could still be a three-round fight if you can't hit. Poor Flora. Oh no. Low damage rolls. Still a three-round fight. My levels are still a little low too. We need another level or two before we can really start one and two rounding these enemies. So Palmer, feel free to read anything if anything comes up, because we're just gonna be grinding for a while. Yes, sir. I do have a twenty-five dollar donation from Dead Man J. He says, first off, I am disappointed in the lack of broken gear. <laughs> Me too. Wait, no. I got all excited when you hyped this game during your marathon, High Spirits, and yet we only have one. One broken piece of equipment. To be fair, it was on the first attack. <laughs> on a side note, <laughs> if Wells has played this game, that means he has a copy. Why don't you fight each other in the Coliseum? <laughs> it's because he has like three cards, because that's all he's been able to find so far. I got another $25 donation from Procy. It says, keep up the good work. Greetings from Germany. Donation goes to the runner's choice. Oh, yeah, I need to come up with something else. Said the, I'll figure it out after my run. High Spirits decided Earthlock fight Mushriga. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just for that, now I'm not going to choose Earthlock. <laughs> yeah, I could do that, too. Just for that, I'm not going to do Earthlock, or, and I'm going to take your coffee. <laughs> My coffee is empty, my friend, and it has been for a while. <laughs> okay, you're probably already in bad shape then, so I won't do anything worse. But I am proud to say that RPGLB is once again partnered with the Yeti, uh, and you can check out their eight amazing t-shirts and hoodies and pins. Head over to theyeti.com forward slash RPGLB, take a look at the designs, pick up the ones you want, and know that $4 from every t-shirt purchased will be donated to NAMI. Remember, the Yeti is spelled T-H-E-Y-E-T-E-E -E -E dot com forward slash R-P-G-L-B. So this area has the water where the enemies can run onto the water and be jerks. Was the, uh, was the group singing Incentive Met for FF10? <laughs> no. The group singing yeah. is at 10 of $3,000. <laughs> uh, let, let's start uh, building that one, then. I that sounds good. I got a host during that. Do I really want to hear that? Yes. <laughs> if, if we had to listen to your singing last year... <laughs> you heard High so Spirits. Oh, I have the voice of an angel. <laughs> um, I have the voice of an angel playing Lunar cool. Dragon song. <laughs> Poor Angel. <laughs> angel food cake. <laughs> <laughs> okay, last one in this area. Now we can bring some angel food cake. Darn it, now we want angel food cake. Now I want cheesecake. Uh, uh, that, that's on you. No, it's on you. It's in your fridge. <laughs> it's literally on you. <laughs> Is it? Where? <laughs> I'm the same thing. Yeah, there's not much to talk about about this game, so feel free to... 
tell us anything else you think is good about this game besides the trees. The trees are nice. You heard High Spirits, chat. Come up with your best ideas for the pros of this game as we've heard enough cons so far. Yeah, we gotta kill hours. We gotta kill time somehow. <laughs> it used to be ten hours. <laughs> I think I beat you. I, I think the first. Close to 10 hours? I think yeah, the first the, the run one was 10 full hours. run I actually managed to get through I think was like ten hours, but that was before High Spirits did stuff. So when you get back to it here shortly, it'll be much. Yeah, faster. I'm gonna I'm gonna rush right over. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure even my first attempt was ten hours because it was a really bad route. It, yeah, but like nobody else had ever routed it. Period. So. Yeah. And we didn't really route a period in it right shortly after that either. Yeah. Did uh, did Holy Smith ever finish uh, another run? Yeah. And we got seven. Ugh. I okay. got an answer for you here. Someone says, the enemy looks like Bulbasaur, which reminds me of a game that's much better than this one. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's debatable. Yeah, I was going to. Yeah. <laughs> we have opinions about <coughs> that particular game. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, just see how many people we can make angry with that comment. <laughs> Another answer. My favorite part is that, in life, this game is optional. <laughs> no, it's life. No, I'm sorry, it's not. Yeah. Everyone has to play it now. We need Coliseum battles, come on. Yeah. And I guess I can just take this moment to thank all of the artists who had anything to do with RPGLB, especially LLK, a longtime contributor and the designer of our promo banners, badges, and emotes. Check out her work at Jazaboo. That is J-A-Z-A-A-B-O-O dot com. And I'd also like to thank you, chat, for sticking around. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> yes, thank you, chat, for actually wanting to sit through this. Yeah. And I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I can't say it anymore. You better. You can't. Thankfully, there's not much left of this. I don't have to say it anymore. So yeah, we drew seven enemies here, so now we're up to uh, a lot of enemies, but <laughs> 18. But uh, we've gotten, uh, the first few encounters have been really good. Like, one round enemies. Well, mostly. Uh, oops, and then I do something like auto attack. <laughs> There's my foible for the run. It's actually the first mistake I've made all run, so I'm happy. The first mistake was sitting there. <laughs> That's true. No, 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 no. Let's get this straight. The first mistake was just putting it in for the chance to be accepted. Hey, I am a, I'm a man of the people. <laughs> if RPG Limit Break wants this game for the people, I will give it for the people. It's safe to say that this is Lunar Dragon Song's first RPG limit break. And last. And last. <laughs> <laughs> I think we all agree that this will be a unique experience for everyone involved. So everyone at home watching, make sure you get in your donations to be part of history because this will literally never happen again. Yeah, probably not even on my stream either. <laughs> <laughs> You'll have to go to twitch.tv slash the RPG chick if you'd like to uh, see more uh, Lunar you're, Dragon you're, Song. You're funny, you're funny. She didn't <laughs> deny it. I, I will I will leave that gracious honor to Holy Smith. We demand you run it. You can demand nothing, sir. I demand that you run it. No. Haha, <laughs> 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 she says I can demand. <laughs> You still got time for a couple more donations? We're going to be here for a little, a few more minutes, so go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> I got a $40 donation from Dark77778151 that says, I remember being so excited for this game when it first <laughs> came out. It was my first DS title. Then I was so disappointed in it that I returned it to my local game store the very next day. <laughs> I always wondered if I made the wrong call and missed out on a game that would have been better later on down the line. Nope. Glad to see I didn't miss a thing. <laughs> Aside from the $40 I didn't get back from the return. <laughs> so here is 40 to go to a better cause. Palmer, money goes to your choice. Thank you so much. We're and sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for that donation, my friend. And my choice is the Earthlock Fight Mushriga Incentive. 
Uh, if you guys are interested in seeing the incentives, you can hit the command in chat. I'm sure one of the lovely mods that we have volunteering would be happy to do that for you. Uh, we also have some amazing prizes as well, so make sure you have a good look and get your donations in uh, before your opportunity is no longer there. Yeah, some of those prizes have been really wicked awesome, especially that Crystallis parlor. Holy shnikes. Yeah, that Crystallis poster, poster looks great. Yeah, it's all right. <laughs> you, you know what, Wills? <laughs> I do know what. You good. I'm glad. So this uh, section here actually was really good. We had no Dwagers, and we only had one enemy uh, that uh, that took it into two rounds. So this is, you know, a very solid grind considering we're at 18 encounters. And there's one more section left. Five to seven. What will we roll? Seven. But let's well, hopefully we get five. <laughs> <laughs> You can technically manipulate this. Like, if you save scum out here, if you save out here and then enter, and you don't get, like, what you want, you can reset the console. Five. But the problem is, is, like, if you get seven and then you reset, unless you get five the next time, it's no longer a time save. So it's kind of risky and not really worth the time to do it. Got a couple more donations here for you, my friend. Sure, we got five fights left before the fireworks. Great. We have a $25 donation from Kame that says, Had to donate during High Spirits' run. He makes even the worst games enjoyable. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> I think I speak on behalf of everyone here when I say, I wish that were the case. <laughs> <laughs> I can't perform miracles. I can try. I can get close, but I can't perform miracles. I have a $20 donation from Salvo that says, My favorite part is that the estimate is 435, whereas the world record is 437. It's pretty brave, High Spirits. <laughs> I think I need to update my time on speedrun.com. My current time is 414, which I won't unfortunately be able to get today. Sad face. I blame Ice Mongrel Tales. <laughs> they were the downfall of this run. All ten of them. <laughs> So we've gotten a lot of experience here so far, as you notice. This has been an experience, I think, for all of us. <laughs> <laughs> One that we will hopefully forget. <laughs> no, I'm enjoying it. I love playing in front of everyone. Oops, don't cast exit. It doesn't work here, but don't cast it. And, and Deuce will forever be an RPG Limit Break 2019 meme. <laughs> I'm looking forward to going back and checking the videos for this game run. I would just abstain from checking the chat if I were you. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm going to go watch it before I go to bed. Thanks, Palmer. You just kept me up for another five hours. <laughs> no. I'll seriously wait till I go home. <laughs> I want to go to bed after this. <laughs> I think everybody but Wells does. Actually, I want to go eat breakfast after this. Sometimes, so one thing I don't get is sometimes at the end of combat, um, you can instantly ref or you know finish collecting experience, and other times you can't, and I don't know why it's like that. Like sometimes you see the uh, the when I'm getting experience, the the screen will go really fast and just zip to zero, and uh, other times it just just crawls, and no matter how much I mash or what I do, it doesn't change that outcome. Well, whenever you're figuring out manipulation for this game, you look into it. There is manipulation for this game. I have already determined that seeds are generated, or determined at a certain point. But as you can see, I have not put any time into it, and I probably never will. <laughs> he says he's a man of the people. <laughs> yeah, I changed my mind. <laughs> <laughs> Anything that would require putting more work into this game, it's like, yeah, no. <laughs> I, I've put a lot of time into this game. You have. I, I said that. I said that. I gave you your, your due props, my friend. Wow. I'm still getting a lot. I'm getting a lot of high experience encounters. But one more fight. One more fight, and then we can go on to some more disappointment. 
just never ends. <laughs> yeah. I did say the ending is special, didn't I? It, it's very special. I agree. I did say the ending might or might not be more it, satisfying than, than Hoshi. It's going to rock your world. So after this, we will uh, we will suddenly be ten levels higher and uh, going to fight the uh, the next boss. And I bet you you cannot guess at home what the next boss is. Hi, <coughs> Smongles. Yes, they formed up to get their tails back. So let's make sure I got. Force ring. That's not it. That one. Wells, you're not awake enough for chat. I know. <laughs> Is the final boss a recolor? And I didn't say this was the final boss. We still got to. We still have to go through a couple of bosses and then get to Ignatius. But one of these bosses might be a recolor. Might. <laughs> <laughs> Guess who's back? It's Gideon <clears throat> with a recolor. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it looks exactly like the deuces. We haven't giggled at that one in a while. Okay. No, but but this time, this time he's red and angry. Yeah. And now it's special. This this time this guy likes to cast magic. But thankfully. I have this fancy little card over here uh, that lowers his intelligence, and uh, yeah, he's not going to be very smart anymore. You need to. The he has a little bit of health. At this point, he has five thousand health. Yeah, the the great thing about that card is is once you stack it enough, the amount of of damage that his attacks will do is, is just his magic attacks though his yeah. physical attacks there right there hurts. oh sure but but even so it's like it goes from like a hundred plus damage to five yeah. <laughs> Th this was a really he's, great thing to discover the first time we raced this he's doing nothing but physical attacks <laughs> There was no Dwager for you, friend. No, no Dwager. Otherwise, that would be doing like 30 damage. Yep. Yeah, he's just blowing me up right now. He even got a crit in there. And I might die here if he does the same thing again. Wait, attack, attack. Okay, wow, I'm really going for the physicals. Jerk. Oh, get in, please. He has 5,000 health, so it takes a little time to go through this health. There we go. Three damage. Now you get to finally see what that card did. The, 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 the Dwager and the, and the Enigma was my one and only contribution to this one. <laughs> Stupid magic. Okay, there we go. Yeah, 30. Oh, much better. I could actually nerf him down more if I wanted to. Okay, there's Gideon. So, I did tell you this is a little bit of a boss rush. So, uh, there's Gideon down. Again. So, we're right here. We're right next to Ignatius. But as we get to the top of the stairs, we get attacked... Again, by Gideon. But this time he looks different. So this is the third time we fought Gideon now. Just want to point that out. He uses only magic attacks. And you can actually stagger him. Poison. Oh, wait. What am I doing? Yeah, he's got a good time. stagger stagger animation. Yeah, he does. You'll enjoy it. <clears throat> also, his, magic, his uh, AoE attack really hurts. So we have to nerf it down. 
Otherwise, we would be struggling to heal if he just spams it. Because it does about 150 to my entire party. This attack right here, if it's not nerfed. difference between three and four intelligence down. Okay, no, we can. 75, 80 of those is gonna be a half health. I know. Let's buff our attack. So he has 6,400 health, so it takes a little time to, to get him down. But uh, yeah, we will stagger him in a couple of turns, and it's pretty nice. It looks cute. And, uh, yeah, we'll talk about it when we get there. <laughs> Again, poison doing its, uh, its work. Oh, I remember when that used to do 100 damage. I did. Oh, there you go. That's his dagger. Pick your favorite Pokemon. There you go. I shot him in the eye. So the best thing that we can hope for is Flora gets the kill. So my damage rolls are a lot less than what they normally would be because I used Enigma instead of Dwager. Dwager lowers all stats. Um, so unfortunately his defense is not lowered. So I'm not really like outputting the kind of damage that I'd like to be putting. Like Flora could do 50 if uh, if I had four Dwagers on him. <laughs> yeah, because usually we stagger him a lot more in this fight. Yeah, it's a uh, it's a little bit slower with him uh, not having stats lowered, but you know all we do is just hold R1. See, there's the R1 button. Nice button, huh? It's pretty. I'm not even watching what's going on in the fight though, to be honest. I mean, it's Gideon the third time. You think we, we kick his butt two times, you think it's going to be any harder the third? Actually, it is, but, you know, we turned him into a puppy. Or a coughing. Or a wheezing, or whatever you want to say it is. <laughs> okay. Wow, we found something that dying does, doesn't do as a pun. I mean, if you're going to pick something not to do as a pun, that's a good thing you might to pick. Yeah. So he should be getting close to dead soon. I doubt Flora's gonna get the kill doing 25 damage every turn. <laughs> ah, rip Gideon. Okay, that's just Gideon. You don't have to clap for Gideon. <laughs> no, I appreciate it though. So now it is time for a bunch of talking before we finally get to deal with Ignatius. Because they gotta build up the climax here, you know? Gotta get things going. So what you mean is you have more time for donations. Like three minutes ago. <laughs> we have a $15 donation from Waiter P that says, The best thing about this game is that I can donate to never see it run ever again. <laughs> Thank goodness. <laughs> I got a $25 donation from Theronia that says, High Spirits is still running. This makes me happy. <laughs> Seems to be closest to the end, though, which makes me happy for you, too. <laughs> Thank you for making my day a little brighter and the money to High Spirit's Choice. I'm glad that me playing Dragon Song can make someone happy. Because we're all crying here. <laughs> we're, all, we're all a little weaker than we were a little while ago. I think Vuligen quit. <laughs> yeah, he literally got up and left. It was so bad, even my couch got up and left on me, okay? Oh, okay, I guess we should talk about what's going on here, huh? So... Story wise. Oh, you got any more donations or can I talk about the story? Because we got to get ready for Ignatius. Okay. Do you have any more donations? We do have two more donations Go ahead. Get for you. A $5 anonymous donation with no comment. Thank you so much. And a $5 donation from Collis that says Hi, Spirits. Thank you for making this great quote unquote game even more entertaining. Thank you. 
Okay, so we come up here, we finally start talking to him, and he does not shut up. And uh, we're like, give me back Lucia. He's like, it's the goddess Althena, and she's mine. I'm going to destroy the world. And then he, and then Jiang decides to give up being a dragon master by throwing his rings aside. And then Ignatius tries to blast him with a fireball and hits the goddess Althena, a.k.a. Lucia, and kills her. Wait, this game suddenly got sad? <laughs> it's alright, she comes back in Lunar 2. Wait. That's, that's not very nice of him. I mean, like, this just serious. I think this has got serious, you guys. You know, look at this. The goddess Althena just remembers Jiang and loves Jiang and just took a fireball, a comically oversized fireball of death to the face. And now, she, well, pay your respects. Well, chat doesn't even seem to want to F over this. But well, why? Maybe one. Maybe Can we one. get some Fs in chat, guys? Please, that's all right. We got one. That's all we need. <laughs> you got a... It looks like five or six, actually. So. <laughs> Those are the only ones awake. <laughs> okay, so here we go, you guys. The climax. Ignatius teleports to the pedestal up there and steals Flora. Look at that. He has her trapped. So, you know, this next fight is not going to be easy because we got to do it without Flora, but don't worry. I think we can do it. Oh no, wait, what's this earthquake? Wait, what happened? No, what? Wait, what, what, why is the final boss of the game falling down a hole? Why did he fall down a hole? That doesn't make any sense. He's the final boss. Why is this so dumb? Yes, Gideon was the final boss, by the way, for those who didn't know. <laughs> By the way, time is coming up after I get through the second room. <laughs> Wasn't this the most unsatisfying, dumb ending to a game ever? No. Okay. It was the most. Time. I mean, considering the rest of the game. So. Like, seriously. <laughs> That's just as bad as Hoshi. You don't even fight the final boss. He falls down a hole and he teleported five seconds before it. Why didn't he teleport back out of the hole? Anyone have any answers? No. By the way, this is the whole ending. You stand here and talk to a guy you never met that explains everything about the goddess Althena and then turns into a fairy and flies away. <laughs> And that's the end. This like even the ending sucks. <laughs> this is one of the best games of all. Time. <laughs> well, this is Lunar Dragon Song. I hope you didn't like I mean enjoyed the run. <laughs> this is one of the worst games ever made. Um, that actually looks like it was someone actually spent five minutes on making. Uh, if, although if you go through the game, you really probably didn't. This is the best game ever with Titus in it. This is the best game ever, yeah, with Titus in it, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Kazu, we said that. <laughs> so yeah, this is him. He turns into a fairy, just flies away, and then, like, we see Lucia and back. She's back. She got reincarnated by the goddess again, and, well, that's the end. <laughs> Isn't that the most amazing em emotional ending that you've ever seen? That's what I mean. This game is the most disappointing, unsatisfying garbage at the end. But thank you all for watching. And uh, yeah, I guess we should move on then. So I am High Spirits, and thank you to my couch, Wells, and RPG Chick uh, for, uh, for chatting and for Vulagin making uh, blowing sounds, and Palmer for being loud, <laughs> and Dine for making only one pun. That was pretty impressive. <laughs> and Casa for making a, a heart over there, and like, <laughs> yeah. Garbage only at the end? <laughs> to be fair, everything's garbage, yeah, that's true. <laughs> so thank you all very much. Enjoy the next run with, I believe, yeah, ghouls. Oh yeah, right there. And Oro. Ghoul and Oro will be up next. So thank you very much. Have a good it's, morning. It's Can we have one more hand? Game. Can we get one more round of applause for High Spirits and everybody yeah! who sat through that <laughs> chat? Thank you so much yeah, as well. Let's burn it! <laughs> Well.
Well, chat, that was Lunar Dragon Song with High Spirits. Uh, but next up, you have The World Ends With You final remix. There's going to be an any percent co-op between Oro and Gulo 2. Uh, so stay tuned for that. But first, I'm going to play a brief Twitch ad. Uh, so make sure that you guys please stick around. Uh, there are some amazing challenges, bid wars, prizes, and the like that you can look at during the process. Um, but we will be back shortly. As we get set up for The World Ends With You, I'd like to remind everybody that there will be a running bid war throughout the duration of the game for the choice of a soundtrack. You can pick between the original or final remix, and whenever that swaps, we'll make these guys switch the game audio 
as soon as they can. Right now, Original is leading at $365 in Final Remix, second place at $96.11. So we'll be going with Original until Final Remix overtakes it. We have a $5 donation from Chai Rad. I guess the trees look nice in Lunar. The world ends with you, Hype. Good luck on the run to Ghoul and Oro. We have $10 from Captain Impossible. As someone who grew up with the original Lunar game as an iconic play of my childhood, I'm really looking forward to The World Ends With You Run, foundation to runner's choice. Yep, we, have, we do have two runners, and both of them have a different donation incentive that they will be putting their runner's choice to. Ghoul will be putting his towards the original OST for The World Ends With You. And Aura will be putting it towards the final mix version of the World Ends With You soundtrack.
Ten dollars from Tales from Hoth. Thank you to everyone for supporting this important charity. We have ten dollars from Anonymous. Stanley doesn't deserve this. Good luck to the rest of the runners.
Okay, and it looks like we are now ready for the world ends up with you. Ghoul, Oro, take it away.